Dial H for Hero Clicks. I am your host, Christina. I have with me this week, Thor Jurgenston. <laughs> Yar! <laughs> lead singer of the band Anal Rot. That is. Also, uh, lead guitarist in Scott and the Wolf. And, uh. I don't even know. <laughs> An abomination. <laughs> I have abomination behind me, and uh, this is you the may know me from the Incredible Hulk. New Fifty Two Dial H for Hero Clicks. We're your crew, uh, back again as as always. You guys love to listen to us every week here on Dial H for Hero Clicks, and uh, it is our one year anniversary. It's uh, you know for us it's fifty twos every week out of the year. We've only missed one. We really haven't technically missed any weeks, uh, but last week we did kind of a .5 episode to hold us over until we were all ready to do our anniversary. And today we have a little bit special, different uh, format for you guys. We are still on iTunes, on audio only, but um, also if you go to our YouTube channel and check out the video version of this podcast... You will, uh, you'll not be disappointed. <laughs> he just had to brush it in an Austin-like <laughs> fashion, didn't he? <laughs> so, <laughs> for those of you question. listening, for those of you listening on your podcast applications, you can also see this, this one actually in full video for our uh, one-year anniversary. And we have pizza and drinks, and we're enjoying ourselves today. And you also get to see the proof that we have faces built for radio. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> So today we have some news. Uh, it looked like it was going to be kind of a slow news week, and then all of a sudden, literally in the last ten minutes, we've been uh, we've been informed of some breaking news. Massive breaking news. Oh dear God! And then our main topic today is going to be the rotation. Uh, we already talked about this before. We talked about uh, we had a retirement party. Talked about what all is rotating. So what we want to do today is more do like a, an analysis on the current meta now that everything has shifted out what pieces could potentially replace the things that we have lost what theme teams do we think will start to make their own run in the meta game and what pieces um, and game mechanics do we think will start doing really well and what did we see do really well at Dragon Con and with Gen Con coming up here just in a few weeks uh, this is a hot topic right now, so we want to talk about that. I let's first. I'm excited for Gen Con. Let's. Who's not excited? This is a Gen Hero Con. Clicks, Hero Clicks podcast. I know, right? Of course, we care about Gen Con. Except I'm not playing Hero Clicks at Gen Con. So today, <laughs> let's start off with the Guardians of the Galaxy movie set. Just announcing that it is officially out. At uh, last week, it was out in the uh, Target stores. This week, it's starting to come out in regular stores. And per all the movie sets, it's got some really sweet stuff in it. Like, uh, it's not like Iron Man three level of craziness, but it's got a good, it's got a really good mix of figures. Like, there's just a lot of really solid stuff in it. Yep, and it it kind of gives us a hint, spoiler if you will, that the Nova Corps will actually surprisingly play a decent sized role in this um, in movie. And there's also a Minions of Thanos keyword, so we know that he will be involved in some way, shape, form, or fashion. His name is Christina. It's Christina, by the way. I'll forgive you, Thorson. <laughs> Thorson! <laughs> uh, and, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the, uh, the hit single, Genie in a Bottle by Anal Rock that we played there at the intro. <laughs> of the show. That was the cover. That was uh, a classic. <laughs> grunge metal. We spent two weeks on that album. Uh, and then we realized, shit, Christina Aguilera already made the song. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I, I thought it sounded a little familiar. You know? It happens. It's whatever. Uh, I'm really liking this reboot haircut. I think I might keep it. Then we have... Oh, real quick, I wanted to just mention, and I may have mentioned this last week, but... No, you put that back on. It's getting hot. <laughs> I don't care. It's I already always have hot long here. hair, and then I have that on top of it. Uh, spaghetti dinner... For those of you who are going to Gen Con or are in the Indianapolis area, you do not have to technically go to Gen Con to attend the spaghetti dinner. But if you would like a free meal and like to meet some other fellow hero clicksers, we'll we will be there. Uh, be. Check out HC Realms. What, what, if you, what do you mean you, you might be? I might be. What do you, you mean you might be? I registered ahead of time, but I might not be. Okay, so in classic Austin fashion, <laughs> he might not actually show up to the thing he said he'd go to. That's all right. Drew and I will be there. We will be there. Well, you guys already have a table anyway, so I mean... Hey, just 
Just calm down, all right? We'll have Drew's value stamp My ready. My name's to, Abomination. Ready God. to stamp your cards. But, uh, yeah, it's it's a great time, and it's all free, so make sure you attend if you're able to. I can't breathe. We also got some dials for the Justice League board game, and we had talked about Darkseid before that. Darkseid looked really cool. He had the he created oh, yeah. the tokens. And then they made this motherfucker. And now they made some <laughs> awesome dials. <laughs> that is the only word I can use to describe this. Including figure. the this best. This guy bangs your mother at the speed of sound, and you just don't know what's going on. He does have a power called faster than a speeding bullet, and more powerful than a locomotive. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> um, so they spoiled the dials for Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Cyborg, and this is my this favorite. This is Mead. This is my favorite <laughs> Superman, seriously, I think, ever. I fully agree. <laughs> He's got a 200 or 100-point 100 100 option. <laughs> Superman and JLA team abilities, and a special trait, and I think this is part of what makes him so awesome. If you you'll notice a running trend with all of these guys, they all have something that deals with putting tokens on cards. Yeah. Uh, this Superman's is protect the innocent. Whenever another friendly character takes damage from an opponent's attack, you place a protection token on Superman's card. You can give him a free action, remove any number of protection tokens and increase his damage value by plus one until your next turn for each two tokens removed. Holy shit, Hunter. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's very good. Christina. Oh, he's waiting on He's Hunter again, sorry. And uh, he also starts out on both point options with a special movement power, which is exceptionally good. Superman can use charge. When he uses charge, if he moves along a direct line, he does not have to have his speed value any bust through blocking terrain. I like that better than straight hypersonic all the time. I do as well. Um, and I think that lets you make a piece be really good without having to super load its point value up. You know what I mean? Yeah. If that had been hypersonic. And I feel like in the comics, like, whereas Flash runs in circles and all that stuff when he's speeding, when he's running really fast and stuff, um, why is everyone putting their... I'm so confused. We approve of the piece. It's, it's inside joke. You, you you would only get it if you're going to the spaghetti dinner. Yeah. Hmm. Now my feelings are hurt. Well, Indeed. maybe you should show up to things once in a while. Maybe I'm just saying there's a chance I might not show up, depending. Cause my well, no shit. But... <laughs> you mean your girlfriend. Yeah. Austin's ride is his girlfriend. And this guy's pussy whip. Sorry. Anyways. Continue. Never mind. No, this defense power is really cool, too. Big, boy, big blue boy scout. He can use invincible once per attack. This is fucking nuts. Once per attack. Once per attack. I didn't even notice that. When a friendly character within six squares in line of fire would be hit by a ranged combat attack, you may play Superman adjacent to that character, and he blocks the line of fire from the attack. If you and he, let me see how they word it. Adjacent to the character so that he blocks the line of fire from the attack. If you do, modify Soup's defense value by plus two for this attack, what? and it targets him instead. Even if it would otherwise be illegal. Well, that's fucking nuts. It is, and he's already at 18 defense. Uh, question. If you have a character that ignores characters on shooting? Well, it says he becomes the target, so they don't it really have a choice. But it says that he has to block the line of fire. It says he blocks the line of fire. Oh, I see what Austin's saying. I... It'll go to the oranges and they'll, vent, they'll say... Something stupid, that, probably. Because it specifies that he has to target him... Then I think they all. Yeah, they'll probably. Happen. No, I see it. It's just the wording's kind of. Boring. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying though. He has an eight range as well, and very very good dial. Although he has no running shots, so really you're you're mainly mainly gonna be using him for melee, with the full charge and then the the close combat expert. He's good. Yeah, as I was saying earlier though, I really like the whole full movement charges, because like Superman in comics doesn't really do the whole flying around people in circles and running around them on stuff like Flash tends to do. Not yet. Not often. Not all, I, every now and then. But, like, I, I attribute that more to Flash, which is a good hypersonic ability. I like full-charge Superman a lot better. Another thing to note about these guys is that they go to the Justice League team base. Oh, yeah. And the sculpts are the same, and they are all switch clicks. And they also have a hell of a lot of keywords. Uh, Batman is 150 or 100. Batman team ability, JLA team ability. Ignores elevated and hindering. And he also, again, has a trait with tokens. When Batman is hit by an attack or misses with an attack, place a strategy token on his character card. Give him a free action, remove any number of strategy tokens, and increase his attack value by plus one until your next turn for each token removed. This is something I wish they put on more Batman. They the powers call like it a this. Mary Sue token. Mary Sue? It's a term that means somebody who's too good at everything, usually written into books. Mm. 
Gotcha. He starts off with the running shots, six range, double bolt, which is good because his attack power gives him energy explosion. Uh, he has attack power of utility belt, gives him energy explosion, sidestep, smoke cloud, regen, and improved targeting, ignores hindering, and when he uses sidestep, he can ignore characters. He has outwit, that's at his 150 point dial. At 100, he starts with, I actually like his 100 a lot better. Uh, running shot, 11 attack end cap, remember with the two bolts. 17 reflexes, again with stealth also because of this team ability, and then perplex with three damage. I like that 100 dial yeah, point dial good. a lot. Uh, then he moves into some sidestep and some charge. Yeah, it's a solid Batman. I it, really like him at yeah, that point. Like, we already have enough solid Batman. Um, really? He's, he's, I'm completely baffled. I get solid for Batman. <laughs> I do really love that trait, though. I mean, honestly, that's pretty sick. I hope that more uh, that they use powers like that for Batman more often because he does. You know, they don't like to give him prob, but he does need something like that where he kind of is yeah. probing the situation. By the way, Hunter, I hope you know that this whole video is going to be me and Drew just playing with our hair. A I've bit. noticed already. <laughs> Cause I'm watching Drew. Drew's doing the same thing I'm doing, where he's like shifting it constantly. Drew, if you can see this very well, because I know it, it's kind <laughs> I know of one of your eyes. Is I know blurry. it's blurry, and you uh, have your hair in your face. But would you care to talk about Cyborg? Hold on. What happened? Now I feel weird being the only one with one on. Sorry, you can say. So it. Cyborg, he's a guy. He's metal. Uh, he ignores. Uh, let's see. He got six range, double bolt. And um, 100 points, good good value, 100 points, anything? Dig, dig. Sharpshooter, too. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter with Ignore's Hindering. And uh, a cool power, too. Yes, sir. Whenever an opposing character within range is given a free action, which uh, gets six range, so... Which happens a lot. A lot of characters. Place a uh, tracking token on Cyborg's character card when... Give him a free action, remove any number of tracking tokens from his card, increase his range value by one until your next turn for each token removed. Alright. Hunter, so, what are you getting over there? I'm getting some Donato's pizza, which... Sponsors Dial H for about the most addicting pizza I've ever eaten in my life. I know, I'm sitting back here, I've got half a pizza. You don't get full on it, you just I always know. want more. I've got half a pizza back here and I'm telling you. It's the seasoning, want whatever this little salty seasoning they put on it. Oh Not God. to mention it's the single best pizza at room temperature there is. So, uh, the cyborg has energy explosion, so he's one of those pieces. Um, he's got RCE, he's got, uh, he, st he does not start with running shot. He starts with force blast, uh -huh. which I like. Um, I like too, especially with energy explosion. Exactly, you can bust, and the ability to increase his range. Yeah, you can bust their guys apart. He's only got toughness, but for cyborg, I think he should have something more than toughness. Like, at least invul. And the other thing to take into account, though, is whenever an opposing character is given a free action, People highly underestimate how often characters are given free action. Running shot, free action. Charge, free action. Charge, free action. Outwit, free, free action. Flurry, two free actions. Flurry, perplex. Outwit, per, uh, prob. prob. No, prob's not Prob's not, sorry, yeah. But, and, and a lot of special powers are do this, give X free action. Yeah, I mean, like, you're going to have stacked freaking tokens on him. And the thing is... You're really never going to want to use... You'll never have to use all three, pretty much. It's more likely you'll use one or two. Well, also, we talk about the fact that people... They count range. They, lo they look at your base range, and they forget about ways to... Perplexes and... And shield team ability and stuff. They're never going to remember that you can remove a token yeah. and buff your sh your your range. So they, they'll go out eight squares away, not realizing you have two tokens it, on your card. It reminds me of that key point we always bring up, that it's not just what you know, it's what your opponent doesn't know. Like, exactly. within the fair rules of the game. So he's not bad. And then we have one more. We have Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman! I played an Amazon team, and we'll talk about them in a minute. But, um, I really like this Wonder Woman. Yeah. They're, again, she's like the other ones. She's pretty solid, but she's just not quite hit it on the head yet. Wonder Woman's that one of those characters where I feel like they haven't exactly perfectly nailed her down yet. Uh, yeah. yeah. It is hard to nail Wonder Woman. It is. Mean. Who, who can say for years? Uh, two traits. Of course, one that has to do with tokens. When she hits an opposing character, give her a thwart token. Give her a twat token. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Thwart token. There's an H in there. Uh, when Wonder Woman is targeted with an attack, you may remove any number of thwart tokens from her cards and increase the de her defense value by plus one for each one removed. 
She also, her oh. other trait gives her... Oh, it's targeted, not hit. Okay, I was about to mm-hmm. be like, And on. she has an 18. Yeah. Starting defense. Uh, For two clicks. Plus, her bracelet deflection trait gives her super strength and super senses on range attacks. Which is great. And then she has combat reflexes and full willpower. Oh, yeah, on her defense power. Um, I like her a lot. She's got close combat expert in charge. That's at 150. At 100... Uh, she starts with sidestep instead of charge, but she has a special attack power of in cap, as if she had a range of four. Eh. Yeah. 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 I, eh. I feel like there might be some shenanigans with where to drop her off with the team base, with like that flurry three eleven and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I bet you at the che- at the three hundred point option, she's start gonna pop off the team base with 11, flurry, flurry with a yeah an eleven attack three damage flurry with impervious super strong. So she'll be, yeah, and super, yeah, good point. It was super strength from the trait. So, yeah, she is probably going to be a good team base pop off. And again, she's pretty good for the Just League too because she gives it energy shield deflection when she's on the asset dial. Yeah. So not too bad either. I'm happy for another chance to get some of these sculpts too because those sculpts were really solid. Anti monitor. They made a quick. This is when it was very slow with news and they had to put something <laughs> up for that day. Dear God, we got no news for like a week and a half there. And, and then all of a sudden they spoiled all these Justice League Dazzle in like the same day. I wonder why. Uh, yeah, because they spoiled the Superman. I was like, they're going to spoil the next one the next day. No, I had to keep watching freaking Twitter all day because they were flying out like mad. They basically s- issued an errata saying, hey, we messed up on some of the Black Lantern anti-monitors. Not that we would know. Yeah, seriously, what is but with this announcement? His click well, numbers... they sold them at Origins. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, at Origins people could get them. His click number 7 uh, has a 2 attack value. It's supposed to be a 12. We're going to have to rule that that's actually what it is. I say, yeah. If you play at my venue, he has a two attack deal. With <laughs> because him. it's like, it's such an odd number for you to land on, too. And then, uh, that is it for news. Oh, wait, it's not. We have Holy a, shit! We have a new set, ladies and gentlemen. And not only that, the February DC set. It's an amazing freaking set, and it's one that we, I think most of us saw coming. From 300 miles away. Uh, Trinity of Sin. Or, or they call it Trinity War. Trinity, Trinity War. of War. No, it's Trinity War. It, was what it says said. Justice yeah, League Trinity below, of they War. They call it Trinity War. It's just the guy that typed it out typed it stupidly. Yeah, it does say Trinity. Yeah, I think it's called Trinity War. We'll see. Um, I don't know why they call it Trinity of War. Wait, no. It's called like... Eight Ju- oh, it says Justice League dash yeah. Trinity War. Sub-themes include JLA, JL Dark, Crime Syndicate, and more. Fast Forces will be the Crime Syndicate. Uh, the boosters feature the seven deadly sins 3D special objects and randomly s- inserted into boosters. And wait for the, wait for the next part. What's that? They interact with the Rock of Eternity and Pandora's box brick incentive resource dials. What in the fuck are you thinking? You know what? The brick incentives, they haven't done that for a long I time. Like, That's a buy it by the brick. Yeah, I personally, I like buy brick bricks. Too. So if you buy a brick, you get a resource. That's not bad at all. That's what they should have done with Iron Man. Yeah. Hell, I think they should have almost done it with the, It's better than what they did with Iron Man. I fully agree. Yeah, you only got three. Like, three. Yeah. And one goes to your judge, so you I got two. One. It's, I mean, I guess this is their way of being like, hey guys, I guess we fucked up on the zombie. But then, so it sounds, they screw us up the ass on this apology. <laughs> sounds, sounds amazing. Um, personally, love those sub-themes. We need a new Green Arrow, Hawkman, a lot of Justice yeah. League. And there's people. a confirmed Shazam Const- in the set. Constantine, Shazam will definitely be in the set. Oh, pictures of the known figures are right there. So let's bring up the pictures. Oh, so if you guys are following along, and uh, I'll link, I'll... He'll link it. Oh I'll paste... God, I'm so excited. I'll paste this Description. Thread. He'll link it. But, uh... I know what he's saying before he said it. Let's pull it up. Mmm, pull that up. So we got another Lex... Another a parademon. parademon, a firestorm, a Mera. Uh, we don't have any any huh. of those except for these. We, look like a lot of figures we just lost on rotation. Is that it? Nope. nope there's more. Uh, uh, Ultraman, Owlman, or not Owlman? What's he called? Or is he, it Owlman? He's Owlman. It's Owlman. Um, Deathstorm. Deathstorm and uh, Superwoman. Yeah. And then Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman, Shazam, Ocean Master, Ocean Master yeah. Element Woman. None of these do we. We don't have any of those. Oh, I'm so happy. That looks like what we got so far. But, uh, yeah, very welcome. And then the Fast Forces is going to be the... You, you missed set. something very important. What did I miss? Set distribution. Oh, oh we're going to get Rarity. to Rarity, okay. 
So, and of course there'll be a gravity fee as well. Uh, let's see if there's anything on the note. Hold note. on, features to view. Aquaman, Aquaman and text only, no picture, okay. We already have a Hold Teen on. Titans so, Aquaman. Scroll back down. A little, scroll up a little bit. Featuring all the next additional each single figure flute pack plays Aquaman or okay, whatever. It's just the flavor text on me to sound like there was a all stereo right. pack. So, sounds amazing. Here's the distribution. 73 figures. Yeah. 17 are, there are primes as well. 17 commons. 16 uncommons. Boo. 16 rares. Boo. So, same number. Yeah, first of all, 16 rares, and there's possibility that you're only going to get a rare. There better be like five generics. 12 super rares. What in the hell? Seven chases and an ultra chase. Wait, uh, Hunter, say that last one again. Seven chases. Gotcha there. And then ultra chase. Whoa, hold on, Hunter. My brain like lapsed there. One more second. time. I think I, re I think I repressed something you might have said there. Well, say that one more time. There's an ultra chase. What the fuck is an ultra chase? The fuck is an ultra chase, Hunter? So not only do you have primes to collect and chases to collect, seven chases, <laughs> 12 super. You motherfuckers. I'm out of here. I'm done with this game. Here, here's He's the back. thing. Here's the thing. I'm back. Let's be let's be optimistic here, because you know me. <laughs> did, she, did you just use the term optimistic? To because apply you to know me. Scenario? I am not. I'm not cynical. You are not. Um, you think whiz kids would have you jaded and cynical? Let's be optimistic. Him. The distribution looks awful. It looks like you, shit. You think about if it's packaged as usual. The the possibility, uh, uh, basically a fifty fifty possibility that your booster is going to be a rare, and if it's not a rare, then it'll be a super rare chase prime whatever. Sixteen rares, and twelve super rares. That's twenty eight. Seven chases and uh, ultra chases. That's thirty six. So you basically. I gotta imagine if their distribution is this bad, that they're gonna improve the rarity distribution among the packs. It better be. A you would think. You know what I mean? Yeah, like two rares per pack, or a rare like, or two in common. Like if you, well, I'll say That's this. What now. No, I'll say what I'm saying is I think they should improve it to where if you there'll be maybe two rares in a brick, two two boosters in a brick that don't have a super rare chase or prime or whatever. That's fine, but in the ones that have the super rare chases and primes, whatever, they need to have a rare in there too, or mix match. If it's only a rare package, then you should get two rares or something like that. They got to improve this somehow. I think bricks should be. This a one, is awful. Bricks need to be a one two three or one two four distribution. Bricks need to be a one prime or one, each brick needs to have a prime and a chase at least. I think they should do two primes per brick. And I don't know why my camera is doing this. Slowly shifting. That's what it did the last time. The hydraulics being weird. Primes, where one of them's a common or uncommon, one's a rare, super rare, or even just a common, uncommon period per brick. Like two primes and one chase, I'd be happy. Okay, what per was brick? The, per brick. I'd be happy with just a prime and a chase. I know, I would be happy with that. I don't I'd think be it's gonna happen. At one two. I don't think it's gonna happen. You know how Hunter Smith is an optimist? I'm the pessimist. Let's look at this in WizKids logic. What was the last set before Deadpool to have eight chases? Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. What was the set distribution in terms of rarity? One, right. one per brick. One one chase, one prime per brick. Yeah. What was the what was the <laughs> distribution in Deadpool? Same but one chase per brick, one prime per brick. Yeah. Drew's yeah. right. If they were gonna do it, if they were gonna package it better, package it as good as Superman, they would or Spider-Man, they would have done it in Deadpool. Exactly. Their plan is more money. <laughs> well, yeah. And I can understand why. The, see, everything I say about WizKids beforehand, I say I understand why they're doing this. How many people are in Crime Syndicate? Is it seven? Seven. They there, wouldn't do the cha chases. Right? No, they wouldn't do the chases as the crime syndicate people because they're the fast horses. It doesn't matter. It doesn't give. Why not? It does because they never do the chases or something like that. They're usually alternate. Why? They never did ultra chases before. But I mean, like none this guy of the has a point. But none of the chases. <laughs> no, this is just like a <laughs> straw man argument. There's no. There's no way they're going to do the chases the same things in the fast forces. You're probably right, but they'll have a I would have told you there's no way they're going to do 16 goddamn rares and 12 super rares and 7 chases and 1 ultra chase. Who the fuck came up with ultra chase? 
I'm fine with one Ultra Chase. I don't mind the Ultra Chase. I, I don't mind one. It's the rest of the distribution. I, I hate listen, the distribution. Listen, yeah. this is going to be a slippery slope. Well, yeah. Oh, it's WizKids. I'm just saying WizKids has a tendency to fall down hills a lot. Oh, in fairness, pretty much every freaking game does this at Wizards a point. of the Coast does this every month. They start selling... I'm just kidding. The game starts selling better, and then and then it becomes more about how can we shaft everybody and get more money. Which, but. I'm so excited about the themes, I'm willing to take a shaft. That's true. I'm just saying. <laughs> I am excited about the themes. Also, you don't have to say you're willing to take a shaft. It goes without saying. Oh, you, just, I get it. Just I'm second. willing to take two. Now, that's push. But if that ultra is change that is it? like... I don't know. There's two of us, true. No, oh, shit. I know. <laughs> but, um, if that ultra chase... Is like, puts the wig back on. Is like John Constantine. <laughs> is like John Constantine in like three trench coats. I'm gonna be super. <laughs> John what? What? Oh god. What if John Constantine is the ultra John chase? John Constantine. <laughs> what if JC is the ultra chase? So they find. I would him. shoot myself. I would, <laughs> no, no, no. What if it's a saber tooth in a trench coat? <laughs> It'll be a John Constantine saber tooth duo. <laughs> <laughs> They finally do Sabretooth in Modern Age and they make him a chase and now they'll, in a DC set. And now they'll make JC an ultra chase. Maybe that's why my butt hurts so bad, but... <laughs> uh, anyways, we could go on about this forever. And I can't wait till we do an episode about it. Yeah, we'll do talk it. About it. We can even talk about it <clears throat> in We're our next... We're gonna get a Black Adam on our, on our main... Oh my god! How are we gonna get a Black Adam? Because we're getting a Shazam. That does not Black guarantee. Adam plays a huge role in Infinity War. We'll Listen. see. We're gonna get a black Adam Hunter! So excited! We'll talk about this more in the future. We'll talk about potential things we could see. They're finally releasing a set I wanna buy. Let's talk about Best Build, because we gotta announce our winner. That'll change in a month. Probably. It'll change in a month, yeah, as soon as they announce the set and it ends up it has nothing that I expected to be. Sorry. Today's format 600 points, Silver Age, figures and ATAs only. Uh, you had to play at least one vehicle on your team. Drew, what was your team? Uh, Drew, uh, whose team? You had Cosmic Pancakes from Reddit. Yep. It was uh, Thunderball. It Wrecker. was the Wrecking Crew and yep. a Mili was it Haunted, Haunted, Tank. Haunted Tank. It was okay, except for the fact I went 0-3. Oh. Me and Drew let our players down heavily. Yeah. Um, We're disappointments to our families. First game, I went up against a team with all four entities. That was... Unfair. Stupid. <laughs> Thank you for pouring, Dr. Pepper. What did you think about the Haunted awesome. Tank? Because I haven't played Haunted Tank yet. He, it's actually really good on Auto. I've heard it's good. It actually looks like it's really good on I love, love it. Is Autopilot the one that has an enhancement on it? Uh, no. Uh, the Doesn't auto it have a good energy explosion or something? Yeah, it gets energy explosion. It has six range, single bolt, three damage. So, But it has like... 85 clicks. Really? I think it has like 16 clicks. It's gotta. The, pil the piloted version's my favorite though with the enhancement and all that. It's really good for supporting a team. So uh, let's that's see. That's piloted. At piloted it has 14. At autopilot it has 13. Yeah, that's 13. a lot for autopilot. But it is 90 points and then 100. 90 points for 136 set. 13 clicks is really good. Especially when you roll on to... I know it's 8 attack but it's still... Three damage penetrating psychic blast. And he has invulnerability and toughness for it. And his last click, look at his last click. Ten attack, three damage. Gives everybody toughness. It's pretty good. Uh, a good, yeah, the, the defense power is very good. Like you said, friendly characters adjacent to the tank can use toughness. When they're dealt damage, you roll a d6. On a yeah. result of a one, you deal the haunted tank one damage. Which, The yeah. cool thing... Is that trait? This is why this is one yeah. of the best autopiloted. He's vehicles. amazing. Haunted Tank is not dealt the one unavoidable yep. after resolving an yep. action with an attack. I like it. I'm gonna have to try that sometime on a soldier team. I was thinking the military tanks are right true. Military tank is good too and similar. Uh, so you went zero and three. Yeah. Would you any any who was your favorite wrecking crew member? Dude, they're all so fun. Um. Wrecker's just awesome. Wrecker's I monster. still have not played the Wrecking Crew. Dude, they're so Dude, much fun. Philbo's played them a couple times. They're freaking new. I played Bulldozer and a Sealed. I went undefeated with them. He was really good, but I still want to play Pile Driver's it. really good. You want to play Wrecker. Thunderball's awesome. Yeah, I do want to play Wrecker. He looks awesome. Thunderball's only downfall, I thought, was that he started on Running Shot because he played him under dial. 
And then Austin had also another team from Reddit, uh, yeah. Grim Guy. Which is what was your team? You said it was GL Stockies. I thought it was GL Stockies. I couldn't. No, remember. you remember you picked Stockies and then you said if not, I'll pick this other one. Yeah, because you didn't have the extra vehicle. Yeah, you I picked didn't. a team with a Honda tank, and I already called Honda. Yeah, no, that's... but then I decided to change because I want to try the Batmobile. Sure. Whatever was the thing, I didn't have an extra of the vehicle. Yeah, I changed Honda Honda tank. I, I saw the Batmobile and I was like, I'm so this was the Honda Austin's tank. second choice. Yeah. Um, I like this team was fun. It's a Batman team. It was Batgirl, Alfred. Um, it's the No Man's Land Batgirl, which is uh, Helena, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, Alfred Pennyworth, the Fast Forces one. Um, the Hush Bruce Wayne. The Prime. Yeah. Um, so good. Both Tabat Batmans. Um, Red Robin, Batman 206, which is the Gravity Feed. Yep, he's the Outsiders And one. then the Batmobile on Autopilot. Ooh. On I Piloted. Played, I played that. Batmobile Autopilot. Really? <laughs> Fucking Really? <laughs> Fucking really? Well, it's not my fault. One hundred. Get, get the fuck out of here! The Batmobile with I'm, the autopilot KO'd and the pilot on top dial. So go I watch the video. Like, You'll understand. I drew was so mad. <laughs> Bad cycle piloted uh, Batmobile autopiloted with the Batman Family ATA, which is for these figures. That, fa- that Batman Family ATA is. Good. That that's getting the most bang <laughs> for your buck because basically. I think Drew might kill me. Basically, all of the figures on this team don't have willpower, and so they really need that. Uh, <laughs> I am that so ATA. mad. Well, I really misplayed this one. What's really good about the Batman Family ATA Two is because of the way it's worded, the Batman can give himself willpower. He yeah. doesn't. It doesn't say other. So. Yes, uh, you really did misplay this. Well, see, because I was putting Red Robin as the pilot of the Batmobile, which was an amazing. At problem. least he was removing a 100 point piece off the board. At least. Hunter, Hunter, I Hunter. spent everything trying to kill the motherfucker. <laughs> I never go after vehicles because they don't die. Well, it was in my way. And it was doing freaking flurry, freaking three damage, 11 attack. I need to play my vehicles more. I'm going to make a point to play my vehicles more lately because there's so many of them I still haven't played yet. I did like the I did like the pilot. Of you're going to watch the video <laughs> and be like... You're going to be so... You're going to laugh. Oh, man. So how'd you do? Um, I went one and two. Fucking great. But I scored a lot of points in the two games I lost. Um, it was a really good team. I really liked it. Um, yeah. I'm sure you did. <laughs> my game against Drew, as you can tell by Drew's demeanor, he was pretty upset. The YouTube video will tell it all, though. Um, especially This that makes me more upset that he cheated. I did Because I literally looked at it and I was like, this has got to be bullshit. <laughs> and it turns out it was. <laughs> Drew's bullshit detector is just goes off every time he sits across the table from me. Any but, any standouts that you were better figures? In the your fucking movie? Batmobile with Red Robin. <laughs> with Red it. Robin alone is amazing. I did not realize that that Fast Force or, Ro- or that uh, Gravity Feeder. Yeah, Robin he's good. great. I, I've used him. I I like him a lot too. Outsiders Energy Explosion. Freaking. Uh, yeah. He's a ten three. Give him that to a tank. That's the best Red Robin. <laughs> Running shot and stealth and energy explosion. Yeah. Uh, um, Outsiders Perplex. And seven range, which Batman Family doesn't usually have range that far. Yeah, right? and willpower. True. <laughs> I'm so mad. So I played Jim Cross's team. He is from Gmail. I love you, Jim. Uh, Jim gave me an Amazon team, and uh, finally, a team with the Con Wonder Con exclusive Wonder Woman, which I've been I've had forever, wanted to play. I can never find a time to play her because she costs so freaking much to put on a team. And uh, so I, when I saw Con Wonder Woman, I jumped on this team. Uh, Invisible Jet piloted. Fast Forces Justice League Wonder Woman, the 100.1. Con exclusive Wonder Woman, who I'll get into in a second. Uh, two of the Brave and Bold Amazons. One of the Amazon of Bana Migdal or whatever, the cheaper little ones. Diana Prince, the 33-point supporter from Brave and the Bold as well. And then Amazon ATA on all of them, which I played today for the first time, and it's one of my favorite ATAs ever now. It's so good. And then Bat Signal and uh, Pog. So the way it works, let, let's first bring up the Amazon ATA because I had a lot of fun with these. I played the, the generic Amazons from Brave and the Bold with some of the best... Uh, some of the best generics you'll ever play in your life. Do yourself a favor and get some and play them with a Wonder Woman leading them because... Jesus Christ, look at this dial for 50 points. Charge, points, 50. 
five zero. This is this. Holy expect shit. to see this on a future Drew, Drew Silver Age corner. They're fucking nuts. <sighs> Fifty points for charge, super strength with a ten attack, and a three damage. Give a uh, when a friendly character with the Amazon keyword and a higher point value is within eight squares. Amazon can use willpower and plus one attack. So a uh, eleven attack with the object and a three damage for fifty points with willpower. Oh, what's that? A seventeen Austin, combat I'm reflexes not... also. Austin, I'm not gonna kill you. There's video evidence. <laughs> Drew's been giving me this look like he's just gonna. I feel like he's gonna melt through my skull with his eyes. And then they go on to a eighteen uh, defend at one point, a seventeen defend, and then they keep the willpower and the plus one attack full five click dial. These are these I actually might be my favorite generics. These and the Batman Joker thugs. <laughs> Hunter, he's still doing it. Um, but the Amazon ATA is really good. Here's how it works. It's four points per character. You start with it, no with zero tokens on your Amazon card. But every time that one of your Amazons gets hit for two or more damage, you put a token you put a sisterhood token on the card. And then at any time before you give a non-free action, you can remove as many of those tokens as you want and increase your speed attack or range by plus one for each one you remove. Oh that's really awesome. So what I was doing was sending out the cheap little Amazon chick tie up somebody, they kill her, I get tokens, and then I send out my big, beefy, ultra-heavy wielding, con-exclusive Wonder Woman, remove two or three action tokens, and now she's a fucking 14 attack. Just Run smack the across. Piss I saw you doing it. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. I mean, you have to get hit to take them, but in a big build format like this, it was really good. That actually sounds... I really like that ATA. Um, and it saved... it. That ATA really won me the game in a lot of matchups, because I would wait... I'd save up the tokens, I'd use them strategically, let my little guys take the hits, and then, oh, I can't hit this Sabertooth who has a who has a freaking 18 combat reflexes toughness. I'm going to wait, build up some tokens, remove three, get my attack all the way up, pick up this ultra heavy uh, jet that just got destroyed, pick up that giant jet, and one shot Sabertooth or whoever. It was very, very useful. Uh, the con of Wonder Woman, my verdict, is pretty much what I would have expected. It's that she has some cool powers. I like the sculpt. Um, I like her her special damage power a lot. If you want to pull her up, it's the Whiz Kids. It's the only um, con exclusive Wonder Woman there is. Um, the, besides the duo. Besides the duo, um, she has no range. She never gets a special in cap range or anything. She's all beater. She's a hundred and ninety points though. That's her problem right there. Traded ESD and Super Senses on range is pretty sweet. It is. When you remember it, because the first game I didn't realize it. Uh, I think that goes for a lot of things in this game, though. She has charge, super strength. She's also <coughs> also one of the very few flying Wonder Women. Wonder Women. Wonder Women. There's multiples now. You can call them Wonder Women. Uh, she has a special damage power of Perplex. She can use it normally, or when she targets another friendly character with the Amazon keyword, she can use it to go plus two. Or minus two. I don't know why you'd ever want to do minus two on your own fucking guy. But plus two or minus two, except for damage. So I would use that for my other Wonder Woman, pump her attack up to a 13. I love that, actually. If she targets another friendly character with the Amazon keyword, with Perplex, yeah. she could use it normally. If it's friendly, why would, you ever wanna, why would you ever want to decrease? This is the most... Did they, there, has to be a, there has to be a reason. There's got to be an errata on it. They had, or there, no, there's got to be like a figure that that works with. Like, there's got to be. A, I don't know. You find that piece for me, Austin. One thing I do there. like about this chick, though, guys, mid dial hypersonic. We talk about it. We love it. Video podcast, no phones. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I just want to look up the Amazon keyword. <sighs> she also gets flurry on her last three clicks and outwit on her last three clicks. So I really like the dial construction. She was fun. She was good. I kept her safe. I would send her out, let her take damage, bat signal her back, and then phase the... Okay, so here was the plan. This is why I went 3-0 and, uh, and his team won. That's why you went 3-0? Yes. Is what I would do was put Diana as the pilot of the jet. And if you guys are unfamiliar with the jet, it has one of the best freaking uh, vehicle powers of all time. Mm -hmm. It's garbage otherwise. It's called... Yeah, the jet's not that great otherwise. It's called Purple Ray Rejuvenation. And you had to have an Amazon, a Justice League, or a JLA piloting it. Wolfhawk has the Amazon keyword. Huh. Interesting. Today I learned. Uh, so what you do is if you if you fit the pilot things, 
after you give the jet a movement action, which it has a 12 movement phasing, so it can get anywhere it needs to go. Remember, I have the Fast Forces Justice League Wonder Woman who can already attack after she gets carried, and I have the Con exclusive one which can do this special trade afterwards. You move in, and then you pick one of the people you moved, and that character can take a non-free action now after it got carried, but it has to take two action tokens afterwards instead of one. So what I would do was, of course, get all my perplexes ready, get all my sisterhood tokens ready, phase the jet in on and align it however I need to, tie up whoever I need to, pick up an ultra heavy and fuck the shit out of whoever was giving me trouble. I mean just seven damage with a fourteen attack if I had some sisterhood tokens and just wax whoever. It's a double power action, but it's worth it. And then I mean, how can you deal with that? How can you deal with a effectively a 15 square movement because it's a three square thing and I could set anybody adjacent wherever I want. How can you deal with a 15 square two character 10 total damage coming from anywhere? You can't. I mean, you can't stop me from phasing in there and getting wherever I need to go and then hitting you with this. That's what's really good. And then, oh, now con exclusive Wonder Woman takes a couple hits on retaliation, bat signal her back, phase the jet back, pop out Diana, support on the con exclusive Wonder Woman and get her back to top click. So it was really good. I had some fun matches. I really liked the teams. I do not suggest the con Wonder Woman. She's really fun, but she's way too expensive. If she was around 150, I'd play her all the time. Maybe even 170, 160, but at 190, she's just way too expensive. But Amazon's highly recommended. Pick up some of the generic ones because they are There's amazing. There's nothing before she was released that that would combo with. Uh... So, best build winner was... I've already forgotten his name. Sorry, man. I'll email you... No. Oh, best build. Uh, Jim Cross. <laughs> so, I'll email you and see what kind of poker chips you want. Oh, speaking of poker chips, guys. Um, I know some of you have been waiting a couple weeks for your poker chips. They are delayed. It's not my fault, though. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> Ashley's laptop... We keep everything on Dick Grayson's in action yeah. as we speak. Um, we keep everything and the bitches are chasing Dick Grayson the everywhere <laughs> Austin why are you chasing Dick Grayson <laughs> um, He's a bitch. Ashley's laptop froze up and then she had an appointment to get it fixed at Apple today but she had a death in the family last night so I don't feel like asking her to go up to downtown and deal with all that that's Apple. the most elaborate made up excuse I've Fix ever <laughs> fixing the laptop <laughs> So I'm going to give her some time and maybe next weekend she can get another appointment and, you know, if after all this stuff uh, You're covering all your bases. blows over or whatever, uh, we can get the laptop fixed. But all my saved data is on there, all, like the layout for the poker chips, the examples, the ones I need to copy paste, it's all on there. So I have no access to it right now. As soon as I get the laptop fixed, or as soon as she gets the laptop fixed because she has to do it, it's in her name, but uh, I will get to work on those. But... Um, so it's going to be another week or two, but they're coming. Just bear, <laughs> bear with Sorry me. About that. Um, no, bless me. Nope. You guys are assholes. <laughs> Says the guy. Drew's about to rip your <laughs> I Drew! God, I am really, like, I'm legitimately afraid because I have to ride home with Drew, and I'm afraid that he's going to kill me. At least it wasn't, like, a big official with kids event or something. Bodies off I-70. You can find it. If it was anybody but Austin, he wouldn't be this bad. I, I know. I know. That's the best part. That's the best part. Uh, so, All right, you dirty fucking cheater. Anyway, continue. We'll have best build videos uh, coming up this week. So let's go into our main topic quickly. So we had a retirement party. Hey, Zoe. You're scaring the shit out of my dog. No, I'm not. Yes. You're scaring him. The we'll bitches don't him. love you, Austin. They don't actually gravitate to you. Like hey, this, Zoe. Like this man here. Hi. However the dick does. Come here, dick. I hope he attacks right. Zoe's tail and she freaks that way. Oh, just me. like that. He's so graceful with the bitches. So I just don't know what to do with. Uh, she wants. We rotated out the the meta, of course, starting July first. So just last week, and we lost a lot of key pieces in the meta game. Did we? Uh, we talked about them. We had a memorial service. So what we want to do today is bring up those figures, just the main key ones, and not talk about why they were so good because we already everybody knows at this point and we already talked about it what we want to talk about today is what can potentially replace them in these teams 
Um, on top of that, once we get done talking about replacements, what theme teams do we think may have seen their best days now that the things are gone and we won't, now that the rotation's done and we won't see them? What theme teams will we start to see more of now with the new sets? Commissioner Gordon will live on in our hearts. Um, and then overall thoughts on the metagame and the results from Dragon Con and what we expect to see at Gen Con. Maybe we can go ahead and make, well, we'll make Gen Con predictions a week before. How about that? We'll wait because who knows what's going to happen between now and then. So let's start off with the replacements. The key ones on everybody's mind as soon as you bring this topic up is Scarlet Witch and Enchantress. The mystical <clears throat> the mystical teams took a big hit. Uh, thankfully, though, in my mind, if any team can take a big hit like that, it's, it's mystical. the mystical. I mean, they have enough pieces to make up for that. So, the obvious ones, Jinx. Jinx, Jinx. is the big one. Um, we've talked about her before. The, thing about, the good thing about her is... If you're replacing the 50-point Scarlet Witch, she's all you need. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have Mystics. Or Perplex. Or Perplex. But she's 11 points cheaper, she still has Barrier, and she has Probability Control. And she has Survivability with Super Senses. Correct. And uh, her Super Senses is a little better than usual, too. When she yeah. evades, she can three squares and kind of get away. If you need to reposition her, if people rushed in, did something unexpected, you can get her out of dodge. Um, so, for Scarlet Witch, Jinx is a pretty handy replacement. There's not a cheap mystical TK piece off the top of my head. Can you guys think of anything? I mean, maybe we Check can... Check Advanced Search. Well, that's what I was going to yeah, say. We'll do Advanced Search. Mystics. Let's do Point Cost Less Than. You guys at home can do this with us, too, if you want. If you got time, you know, you can be thinking of things. If, if you guys think of a piece that we don't think of while we're talking about this, let us know an email. We'll, we'll bring it up oh, next yeah. week. Um... Because, of course, we won't think of everything off the top of their, our heads. But We're not too smart. Let's do Mystical TK 75. We'll this a year. All right, so we got Magic from AVX at 75 points. She does have TK. Problem is, she has no support power besides TK. Yeah, That's what hurts her. She's got a nice... Uh, she's got the nice teleportation disc, that's, but that's she's kind of expensive. So that is it. That is the only modern age piece now that, has that even has TK top dial in the Mystical keyword for less than 75 points. Period. Um, we but did, we got Time Wizard. We did get Time Wizard, who's really good. But uh, see, in Silver Age, Time Wizard. <laughs> unfortunately, he's so cute. I love him so much. He's such a good piece. I've played against him three times now, and I've enjoyed every game. I can't wait to play him. Um, so, sadly, there's not much of a replacement for Enchantress. I don't. But think. with today's breaking news, we're looking at True. JL Dark, which there's a lot of potential there. Constantine. JC, we could get a little JC. Little yeah. Johnny Shade C. Shade the Changing Man, maybe? Um, uh, I don't think they'll put Shade in. Shade was an Eternity of Sin at all. He oh, hasn't true. Been, he hasn't been in... I'm surprised they even clicked him in New 52, yeah. to be honest. I wanted more of him. I was kind of bummed. Yeah, they brought him in. He's kind of cool. They introduced him. He's interesting. And the, they next, the next arc, he's gone again. So and I then they know. haven't brought him up since in any side books. One that I think could be good, but doesn't have the mystical keyword... Is Destiny. I fully agree. From with Days of Future Past. In fact, I think she's just, aside from not having Mystical Keyword, but if you're looking for a piece that does things similar to Enchantress and Scarlet Witch and you don't care about keywords, this is your chick right here. Maybe even if Switch and Enchantress still existed, this might still be your, your go to piece. Because of this freaking trade is ridiculous. Uh, this is Days of Future Past Destiny. She's also really cheap, which is not something you can say for Scarlet Witch. Uh, cheap as far as money wise her trait after an opposing character within eight squares uses outwit perp or prob and action to resolve deal the character one damage if it has not already taken damage from this effect this turn and it's worth noting with prob that means they'll take one damage on your turn one turn on the, one damage on the opponents if they use it both times correct and the thing is you say oh it's not penetrating it's not unavoidable yeah that's true but if you think about it and i think we said this when we spoiled destiny most figures that are using those power are fin and are barrier energy shield, right. They're supporter senses. power pieces themselves, yeah. and they'll just take. They'll have super senses or energy shield or something. They'll take the click. Uh, she also has an awesome defense or damage power. She can use prob with a range of eight. Does not need line of fire to the attacker if she has line of fire to the attack. So, so she hypothetically she never has to get into into the fray. Yeah. She can always sit behind your guys. As long as she can see your guys, she can prop them on your attacks and on the defensive attacks. Hypothetically, you're like having a 16 range. Because exactly. It's like you're standing up in the front. 
I'm, that, it's amazing. I've played against a couple Destinies now. I used um, them once the other day. They cause they cause a lot of issues for placement, especially with that trait. Mm -hmm. um, for a fifty point figure to disrupt the map and the flow of things that bad, it's awesome. There, I played a giant hand team against Phil's giant Brotherhood teams. When I had to theme prop, it was killing me because I'd have to take two tokens and push yeah. and take a fucking yep. damage from her every time I wanted to use prop. It was re it was such a pain. I stopped using theme props solely because of destiny. I couldn't use my outwits. Fifty points the solely your because opponents of destiny. won't use prop. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Well, or a winner perplex. And then her special prop on top of that. Yeah. And another thing, one of the very rare characters along with Wolverine the X Men Toad that actually makes use of her <laughs> Brotherhood, of Brotherhood of Mutants team <laughs> ability because all she's really gonna be doing is moving. The second around. worst TA in the game. Mm. No. In Justice League, yeah. he's the worst. Uh, ju just in Justice League, yeah. In Sorry, Justice in Justice League. League's the worst. That's why I said second worst. Because this is tied with J. Is it J. J. L. A. and Avengers? Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah, it might be the second worst. Next up, got old Donald Blake. No, I'm like. Didn't see Donald a lot except for Avengers teams, which mm -hmm. were pretty prevalent. He was more the. He's more of a local meta piece than a. He was I somewhat think. meta though. Yeah. Um, no, I mean like he definitely had the meta power level. But I mean, like you're far more likely to see him dominating local games than you are in the large ROC. Gen Con 2012, there were two or three of the top uh, top 16 teams really? had Donald. Yeah, because they were Avengers teams, and oh, he's yeah, really that's good. Right. Um, so, in my mind, it's not going to help you Avengers wise. But the obvious new really good cheap meta medic that re would replace him would be Myra. Yeah, look at Myra real quick. So if you guys want to talk about Myra, I you guys can look at her. No I more, think. Yeah. <laughs> Hunter's got Lord of the Rings on the mind. I do. I've been playing Lord of the Rings a lot. So, I mean, look at look at Myra, and I think she can easily replace Donald. Yeah, she's better. A flat eleven, and opponents can't use capture for she's twenty-eight points. She's better. No, well, that be. I think she's better because of willpower. Yeah. That's what. Not to mention the option to go to perplex if you decide you don't want her for support. And she's five points cheaper. And she's not silver ring. And she has the X Men uh, keyword. Yeah, and so the have Avengers. Again. See, this is what kind of. But she has X. So both sides had access to the same group of figures, and you could tell that because there's a lot of pieces in Days of Future Past that feel like Chaos War equivalents for X Men or Brotherhood, for that matter. And it ended up we didn't get it because like she would have been great for a lot of X Men teams during it. I think she if. If some combos for X Men come out, she'll she she's a must play. Oh yeah, twenty eight points on a competitive X Men team. She's a must play. If There's I wasn't not playing even a question. theme team, I'd throw her on there. Like. Yeah, and think about it. She can just sit there and theme prop. She can heal and then, or she can. Somebody makes an attack and they miss. Okay, theme prop it real quick. Okay, now turn around and heal this person that I just brought back to you. Like, you know, X Men will power have goes a lot a of the Avengers typically don't. TK. I was about to say this piece with power plant would be absolutely fucking insane. Oh yeah. Oh, that's true. Let her do some early game TK in. TK. Have will TK them in. They do some damage if they get back. TK them back. Back. Heal them. Next turn with the willpower. I feel like this is a dance. TK out. TK. Out. So Myra McTaggart. I mean, that's an easy replacement in my mind for Donald Blake. Oh, she's better. I I, I think she's better. I agree with Drew. All right. Here's a key one right here. Key one. I don't know how easy it is to replace it, but the Infinity Gauntlet. Mm. Now, we, we have other resources that are good. What, what are the main reasons you guys would say you play Infinity Gauntlet over other things? Steel Energy and Power Cosmic. That, down, that those were the two that popped in my mind, too. Anything else? Um, I mean, the prob gem on your turn is nice. The bonus defense Super is nice. Super senses is nice. Um, the starting TK is nice, but the power plan has replaced that. Correct. Um, like you said, those are the two things coming to my mind. Steel Energy... A, a, a better steel energy yeah. and then not being able to outwit it and having willpower there's also the creeping mechanic where the power plant constantly forces the tempo in your favor because every turn that you're using it you're getting stronger and stronger so the things that I could think of Anger's Hammer we already talked about yeah, yeah. is a good replacement for the gauntlet it's stupid <laughs> it, well not only that the book once you get enough hammers out gives you willpower too and yeah. power so, power power. That, so it solves that issue too um, albeit you have to equip hammers and get everything and you have to it's a lot them. longer to set up and you have to deal with the fact that you're now running a full team that uses a resource whereas that could be 
detrimental in some situations. As the opposed to the, the other thing, and you guys let me know if you think of anything else. The other thing that could replace this power um, plants or is, not power plants, the uh, power batteries. Power batteries. Uh, but Parallax, the 25-point yeah. entity, because if you look at his damage power, which you could give to your possessed person, uh, he can use Perplex, but only to decrease values, and Parallax can use the Quintessence yeah. team ability. A lot of people have been using uh, Parallax already just for the Quintessence on some pieces that need it, like uh, um, Absorbing Man. Absorbing Man's a great example. Um, the people who double possess for 50 points typically do it with Parallax and another one, which is what we use Gauntlet for. Quintessence and one ability that really pushed them over the edge. Like, hell, if you want Pulse Wave, you go you go Quintessence, or uh, Combat Value. Sorry, you can't take two powers. You only pick one per turn. You can't stop even. I know you. It's too good. Um, yeah, Parallax... Anything else that gives you still energy or cosmic you know, I can't. I think it. the power batteries have some stuff that's coming. Um, definitely the rings. Well, the green giving you willpower. Green gives you that willpower. Um, black gives you steel energy. Um, there's there's a lot of options with the power batteries that I think will replace the gauntlet. Um, once again, well, no, it's not assigned to your full. It's whoever you give constructs to. So yeah, um, I definitely think power battery is going to be the go all the be all replacement for it. Hell, you could put parallax on the character and then play the green light. <laughs> yeah. uh, Play the Black Lantern battery you, on your team, and you got still energy and for less yeah. points. For less points, yeah. <laughs> and, and you can get super senses, shape change, and ESD off the constructs. So, we'll see. I'm so excited for the the new batteries and all their stuff to come out. Yeah, there's gonna be something. It's actually gonna be a long time. I thought it was like coming up soon. It's still like another two months or so. Yeah, it's not till the later. Here's one I absolutely could not find an answer for. Hmm. Replacing Astrals. Astrals? You can't uh, replace Astrals. A cheap mystic filler? A s ridiculous... Well, not only a cheap myst mystical filler, how good they are for how They're cheap so they nuts. are. 13 oh, yeah, for thir points? Yeah. Free movement? Free in movement. In smoke cloud? In cap? Free movement in smoke cloud. Smoke cloud or in cap? With super senses. With super senses. Yeah, I mean, like, we and might... And... The only thing I could think of was a, is a token. We might get a horde token eventually that has some of that, but I don't know. Like That's a hard one. It won't have no free movement. Yeah, it won't have free movement. You'll We'll be lucky to get a horde token that's thir that's around 13 points out of smoke cloud and willpower. That's yeah. all. We'll be lucky to get that. I don't know. We get some crazy ass horde tokens sometimes. The ones I play today are really good from the War of the Light. The vehicle oh, yeah. ones, a, like a 7 point smoke clouder, just for that was worth it. Jesus Christ. And then, and then power action to heal a vehicle or perplex a vehicle. Isn't there something that gives carry? What do you mean? Like a, a relic or something? I'm sure there are. Legion ring. Legion, Legion ring. ring. You give him Legion ring. It doesn't say he can't carry people. Right. Does the power... Does so for 13... What, how much is the Legion ring? Seven, I think. So for 20 points, you get a taxi with phasing teleport... Yeah, I mean, there's. It's just I can't figure out how you replace Astral Strange, Doctor yeah. Strange. I don't think you can. You can. I really don't think you can. I think we'll see a replacement eventually. I just don't know what it'll be. I it definitely won't have keywords. It'll be a horde token, which that's a huge hit compared to what Astral Strange did. It just depends if they, you know, print a piece like Strange again. I think there's. A very vague chance, maybe in JL Dark, but there's once again, there's no idea who would do that. Um, five points. Five points. For the legionary. So and you're for go. 18 points, you have a taxi. Yeah. Um. Let's see what we got else. Oh man, you know what else that'd be good? Play somebody with a poison or a penetrating poison. Free action fate because he has phasing too. Free action phase him over wherever you want, then activate poison on him whoever you want. It's too bad we don't have some sort of power battery that gives penetrating poison. It is. Mm. It is. It's a shame. I know, right? Uh, so, yeah, I have no answers for Astral's. Mole Man. That one's easy. Black Talon. Exactly. We're already seeing him replace Mole Man. Exactly. Oh. We were seeing him replace Mole Man before Mole Man rotated out. Exactly. <laughs> and not only that, he is better because he... He's two Mole Men combined... He with a Scarlet Witch cram. He doesn't there. just work with monsters. He works with whatever the hell he wants to work with. Um, so that's an easy replacement. Um, that's about all the replacing ones I what? have that I can think of. What about Hawkeye? Hawkeye's not that prevalent. Hawkeye has not... He was 
But no, I mean, like, Hawkeye has not placed in an ROC the whole time. Number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, he wasn't in Worlds at all last year. Because I was gonna say Bullseye is a great replacement for him. Hawkeye, Bullseye's okay. He's okay. Hawkeye hasn't. Well, we shouldn't say he's okay because he just won a rock. Hawkeye hasn't been in a major since twenty since the Infinity Gauntlet and Chaos War came out. Really? Yeah, he's just a local meta. Everybody, oh, it's Hawkeye. But he really isn't that great meta-wise, honestly. I didn't know that, actually. I thought he was a staple range piece. But yeah, Bullseye uh, just did something Hawkeye didn't. Yeah, yeah Bullseye, Bullseye's true. great. I, I, I was just thinking of Bullseye as a replacement for him because he shares a lot of abilities. Yeah, um, as long as you can keep Bullseye topped out because I played against he a does couple. does drop really quick. I played against a couple, and once you pop him one time, you don't got to worry about him, really, for the rest of the game. He's not that great. He's down. There's a couple pieces though that I'm keeping an eye on for upcoming Gen Con stuff that looks re- that look like they're gonna do some crazy stuff. Yeah, you're right. I mean, actually, well, you hit him off running shot. You don't have to worry about him as much. True. That's, that's what I've been. The trick. But if you hit him for two, he's gonna fuck. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna fuck your world. You got him for three. The thing to note is also that he ignores all characters, so you could block him with a stealther. It's not just friendly characters or enemy. So you could block him with a stealther to keep him safe, and he's throwing through a stealther. That's true. That's nuts. Yeah, and then Bull- he has combat refill. Bullseye's good. We talked about how we think he's going to play he, pretty good. The guy who piece. won the latest rock had two of them on there. But um, he also had a key piece that I think we're going to see a lot of at Gen Con. Why now? No. <laughs> entities. No. Period. No, yeah, entities he didn't open. even have entities. I th- no, Bill, Agent of Aim. No? Eh, I don't think you see that much of him at Gen Con. I... I don't know. I like. I think he's got a lot oh, of shenanigans. Oh, I, I like him. I just don't think he's a. I don't think he's going to be a staple or anything. I think we'll see a couple in the top sixteen. Yeah, one or two probably. He's right there. Uh, so, Bill Agent of Aim. If you guys are unfamiliar with the thing that you do is you use Blind Out, deal Bill one damage to put him onto his attack power because then you can give Bill a power action and you choose the highest point opposing character. Until your next turn, that character can be targeted with a ranged combat attack by one friendly character without line of fire to that opposing character. They still have to be within range, but they're not. That's what I was going to say. I hope they ruled that correctly. Well, that's what everyone's been ruling it lately, so I assume. Because... Because normally it would say range and line of fire. It just says line of fire. When... All I know is I've played against two of these guys in the last month. And both of those players played him wrong all day, and then when I played him and I told them they couldn't shoot me from across the map, they're like, what? Yeah. It got ruled that way, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, read it. It just says you don't have to have line of fire. It doesn't say they don't want to still be within range. Yeah. Or that you don't draw line of fire at all. <laughs> so, anyways. I mean, I'd imagine it'd go through, it'd go through stealth, it'd go through walls, but um, I like, like, that capability, uh, with the right map and a good team, I feel like that's going to have some shenanigans. Um, as we already saw with Blind Allen, um, Bill, at, or in Bullseye. So, we'll see. I don't think he'll... I don't know. I guess we'll see, but... Actually, another piece I want to see is uh, me and Harry were talking about uh, Zombie Galactus. Have you taken a look at him yet much? Mm. Zombie Galactus has high potential at 200 points, um, especially with Black Talon. I didn't even know he had a 200 point. Yeah, he's got a 200. Is he only on the forums? No, he should be up on the thing, I think, under conventions. I think I've seen him. No, he's not. No, he's not. Okay. I'll find him. Real quick while I'm finding him, let's talk about entities for a minute. <laughs> oh, God. Let's talk about them. You guys know by this point how incredibly amazing they are. They're dumb. And we already saw at Dragon Con them dominate. Not just, oh, hey, that guy in top eight had an entity. No, every motherfucker in top eight had entities pretty much. Yeah. In fact, let's... I'll pull it up just for shits and gigs. Effectively, it's shits a new type of resource not called a resource. Just for that you can use with, with no re- limit. That you can use with resources. I'll yeah. pull it up for shiggles, but let's go ROC. No, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. More ROC, more ROC. Oh, mother love. It's not even on the front page anymore. It's been so long. It's been so long. They just. You mean origins? What was it? What was I saying? Dragon Con. Oh yeah, sorry. Getting ahead of myself. You were really confusing me with that Dragon Con. Dragon Con's right after Gen Con. Yeah, I was about to say. That's where the ROC. Yeah, Origins is what I meant to say. Um, 
Yeah, they threw entities, and they did what we were talking about with Gauntlet. Entities replace a lot of the powers that Gauntlet gives, and they help fill in gaps. Because unlike Gauntlet, where it's always that same first click of the same stuff, entities allow you to pick and choose specific powers, depending on what entity you want. And we're only seeing five of them so far. There's still five more entities in the second wave. I know. There's no telling what ridiculous is. I mean, dear God. Because we still don't have uh, the black entity, which is bound to be broken. We still don't have, uh, um, let's see, red. We haven't got red. We the haven't butcher got better be good. I love oh, the man, I want the butcher to be awesome. Oh, man. Who knows? All I know you is... You know what? I wonder if the black entity will be an anti-entity. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, think about it. If any entity is going to steal the powers from the other one, then it's going to be the black one. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I got halfway that sentence and realized how bad that sounded. He cheats. I'm sorry, and he hates black people. Abuse. Cheating, racist, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> He's just the worst person. He is. Why do I even do this? Podcast? Aren't you glad he ain't going to be at the spaghetti dinner? I am. I'm <laughs> glad he's not going to be representing us at the spaghetti dinner. <laughs> racist, cheating motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so entities have dominated in all the ROC since then everybody's had an entity mm -hmm. uh, the problem again being they're a chase not only are they a chase they're a chase, chase in, in a limited set in a set where it's almost impossible to get a chase in the first place it's one per brick it's one per no it's one per brick yeah, it is one per brick okay. which is okay which is, which is okay yeah. but still some of these people are only playing this one month and might even be playing it with one booster. Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, to be to be fair, if you play three, if you play three months, and uh, your last, uh, if you play four four months, and you play one, two, five, and six, and five and six is one one. You gotta understand one, something two. about five and six. It's dependent on the store, of course. But I'll go ahead and tell you right now, five and six, they're they're not gonna have any. Most stores won't have. Yeah, we're, like left. Yeah. He's I'm garbage. He is true. not garbage. Fuck he's... you. I went two and one with Chrono, and you tell me he's you awful. You got lucky. He's awful. No, he's not. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, he is not awful. This is beautiful. I'm not the target of hate. 245 points. Yeah. No move and attack. He Okay. Prob control. 10 range. Okay, whoop He's got quintessence. He's good. He's fine. He's not garbage. Okay, I retract garbage, but he's still bad for his points. He still doesn't affect enemy. I really don't think he's bad for he's his points. He's bad for his points. He rolls onto a fucking 10 Oh, attack, yeah, and I was wrong. Five damage it's only, he doesn't affect enemy. Yeah, yeah I was wrong. It's only he, friendly. He affects them positively. It's only friendly. So you I, don't I was thinking he was anti. -entry. Yeah, you're just being mean. That's what it is. Good luck pulling Corona and a chain. What do, do I anything? look like? Your mom? I'm not going to you, set your damn why clicks you up. I don't you? know what my team... I didn't have the list of my team in front of me. I'm Jesus just... Christ! Should I? I should have brought his maps for him and set him no, up ahead of time, Drew, and map. place his objects. He doesn't him. even play Hero Clicks anymore, <laughs> so I don't even know why he's in this fucking podcast. Oh my goodness! Anyways, um, my feelings are really hurt. They should be. Sorry yeah. for you on video who are just now joining us. We had technical difficulties <laughs> and a lot of anger. <laughs> and I had no anger. Back. But if you want to listen to the video, the audio part. And Catch where you. I just refuse to believe Corona is that bad. Where you mix up. Anyway. What were we talking about? Entities. All right. What team? What theme teams have lost it? That are are not going to make anything in the meta now Animal. that the things have. Animal. That's a good one because they lost. Um, theme teams. They lost. Well, they lost theme team props. That's true. Um, as far as pieces, they lost. They lost Beast Boy. Yeah. They still have. Uh, they still have Eliosha though. They lost Cosmo. Cosmo was a good, good. linchpin, um, but they still we have. We didn't talk about Cosmo when we talked about, did we? Yeah, we, we he was an honorable. That's right. Yeah, we brought him up as a we, cheap oh, yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. So, animals take a little hit. Um, I think it's, animals. I think animals can still stay. In it's though. lizard and Alyosha there. The I think the, with the book. The There's the potential we'll see some big animal pieces in future sets, yeah, especially we'll, with Grodd coming up. We'll keep a hopeful. We'll keep a hopeful eye. We got Flash and a bunch of gorillas coming in. That's true, um, and we'll get some minion gorillas too. Yeah, so there'll be more I mean, chances. like there's potential for animal teams there. Um, police, I think, lost some really big pieces. They Poli gained Banshee, but they, they lost some big other yeah, pieces. Yeah, they get Banshee. They lose Lieutenant Gordon, though. And you can't play without Lieutenant Gordon. 
I, I'm sorry. Police teams are already thing, have a tough enough time as it is. However, once again, Flash set would likely have a couple good police pieces potentially. Maybe we'll see. I mean, like they gave Justice League Fast Forces New Fifty Two uh, Flash police keyword, so hopefully they'll keep giving. Them I mean, it is Barry Allen, but yeah. Well, police. I I think you're right. Banshee is so good. He's so amazing. It's just good. gonna take one little piece of a trick. To combo with Banshee and a couple pieces, and boom, police is back. I really wish that Gordon and Banshee had existed at the same time for a long oh, period Oh, it would time be nuts. So that we could see how good it'll be. But for now, Banshee will just be making X-Men teams, all that. more. That brings us, we'll, we'll keep that in the pocket for, for next, for theme teams that will be taking a big hit. I think Avengers took too big of a hit. Yeah. You lost Sharon Carter, mm -hmm. Donald Blake, mm -hmm. Hawkeye, if you... You know, to if you're a scrub, extent, if you're a scrub, you know, yeah. no, no, Hawkeye, Sharon, and Donald. First of all, those are those are the two key ones for me. Yeah. And Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. That's well, I mean, that would all suck if next fall set isn't going to be an Avengers set, but it's going to be Civil War or something. Avengers. That's true. There's no way. They There's won't. no way they've been next 2015. Will definitely think about have it. Avengers. Out of all the sets that are in right now, M10 is the only set with any number of Avengers in it. Past there, it's like spread out here and there. And you know what? In 2015, that set's gonna. Rotate out. Well, the next, yeah, and the next uh, upcoming uh, event for next summer is bound to be Marvel. I mean, like, it'll probably be Civil War. We'll get more Avengers, yeah, that's true. But uh, for now, I think Avengers, I think, I think at least over the next four or five months, six months, Avengers are going to take a huge hit. Too big to really do too much in the in the metagame. Because, honestly, we didn't get that many good Avengers in the, um, in the starter yeah. sets. We yeah. didn't. The Scarlet Witch is okay, but she's real expensive. The Iron Man the, sucks. Sorry, the Scarlet Witch is really good, but she's hey, really Austin, expensive. Austin, how's that Iron Man? God, I hate my life. I heard he's pretty good. <laughs> if you know how to play him. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're not a complete total shitstorm. For people who play I hate clicks, you, assholes. No. So, really? More I hate you. <laughs> really? Why do you have to play against my emotions? Um, because you're a dirty <laughs> They'll never make you. another saber too. I'll tell you, and this you might not think of this one. It, yeah, it's not that good, soldier. It, it's not that good already. But soldier teams took a big hit because they lost arguably their best two pieces. But guardian between Guardians of the Galaxy movie set and main set, I think we'll see a lot of new soldiers with some unique powers. Are we gonna see a Glenn Talbot? Well, power almost all the Nova scale. Corps in the GOTG movie set. <laughs> We're gonna see soldier. a thirty-three power point. cosmic Glenn Talbot. <laughs> but I'm saying, are we gonna see a piece that's that good for its points as Glenn Talbot or Airstrike? Ross. I'm holding off. I don't want to say yes or no, but I think they're. We don't know. I mean, like these soldiers an easy keyword to get. I'll yeah, that. that's that's the thing. But they lost Talbot and Airstrike Ross. In my mind, the two best soldier pieces that but we had. But would a 300 point soldier team be running Airstrike Ross? Yes, they would for sure. Okay. He's that good. He's that good. Um, monsters. Oh, back to police. That is one thing to note. The GOTG set all the Nova Corps in it had a police keyword. Yeah, which I, means we might see the same thing in the main set. Guardians of the Galaxy with any Nova Corps we get too. Yeah. Um, I kind of briefly talked about that last week that a lot of the Nova ones had police. Um, let's see, we talked about police. We talked about Soldier. Uh, we talked about Soldier. Mystic, actually. Soldier. I was going to say Mystical lost some, but they gained some. Mystical's too. got so much shit, though. It's never going to go down, I think. Lost, lost Switch, Astrals. Those are two really big ones. Enchantress. But they still have. Um, they still have enough pieces that they're going to be You know what fine. Mystical almost reminds me of? The old mutant keyword. It's just like there's so much of it. And they're all in like such a wide point range that like it's so hard for them to take a hit. And then of course the nerf to generic theme teams doesn't touch Mystical but touches everything else. Yeah. And in Trinity of Sin set, uh, granted, it's, <laughs> yeah. granted it's going to be next year, but that's, there's going to be a lot of good mystical stuff. Well, yeah. think about it. Last time we, we got to get a new John Constantine. John Z. Well, we have the Jail that Dark. We're getting Shazam John and Black Adam. Ultra Chase, John Constantine with three trench coats. Why are you bad <laughs> Think about it. Uh, Shazam and Black Adam, too, are both expensive pieces. He's going to dual wield trench coats. And then. <laughs> A Shazam and Black Adam are both usually expensive pieces, and the last time we got a Black Adam, it became a linchpin for freaking. Uh, solo. Uh, or for tentpole pole teams, we uh, Superman Black Adam was amazing mystical piece. And he's gonna be like, he's gonna have one of them up. It's gonna be on fire. He's gonna be lighting his own cigarettes, you know, with a trench coat. I think it'll be him standing in front of his coat rack with nothing but trench coats on it, like seven or eight. Trench and coats he's just like, that. that would be pretty through. fucking great. I'll tell you a team that is gonna have to make an adjustment. 
is Iron Pharaoh. Oh. Yeah. Because every Iron Pharaoh that I've ever seen win or get like top three in ROC had usually two Scarlet Witches at 50 points. Yeah. Because uh, having played him, he does need uh, he, ne he needs good prob backup because he, if you miss those attacks... He needs cheap prob perp barrier. Yeah. And that, she was perfect. And now I don't know what you do. Yeah, and they Jinx also, is the only thing I can think of. Yeah, but she still doesn't have perp. And she does have His barrier. combat values are low, though. Yeah. Um, entities are helping him a lot, though, now. Because of the giving yeah. him willpower yeah. and buffing his Or even his if you give an entity to one of the... Or you give an entity to Jinx or somebody... All of a sudden, she's 50-something points, but she picks up perp or whatever you need. Yeah. Um, or quintessence to have a Jinx that can bury her twice in a row. Monsters are, for now, are pretty much done. Yeah. Mole Man was the only thing keeping them around, and Shuma. And Shuma without Mole Man, Shuma still in There rotation. was a Shuma team that placed at the latest rock. Yeah, but Mole Man was still legal. What? No, he wasn't. No, Mole Man, Black Talon? It was, uh, hold on. I couldn't find it. Good no, luck. it wasn't. Black Talon didn't even have it. Good luck um, finding it. I think, uh, I think there's room for big monsters. Um, of course, uh, High Father shuts down a lot of those. I think Zombie Galactus, whenever you get a look at him, I think you'll... He's got some potential with Black Talon. It was Black Howard Town. Rock's team. Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to be... Shumagorath, Despotelis with two entities, and the Power Battery. With the Ring and Shuma. But that's not a monster theme team. I know, but... Oh, okay. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, what are Despotelis' keywords? By the way, Sinister. Despotelis was in a lot of these teams. Oh, he's freaking amazing. Despotelis. 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 God, that's a piece we're going to be seeing a lot of. And he's a piece that's so annoying yeah. to fight. Um, I do think there's room for bigger monsters. Guardians of the Galaxy, of course, will have a lot of monsters. Or not a lot, but it'll have some monsters, I think. Um, there's a lot of aliens you could check chalk monster onto. If there's symbiotes in it, which Marvel's doing their whole big symbiote story in Guardians of the Galaxy, they'll have monster more zombie. We'll have more zombie chases. There's potential for a big zombie chase that ends up being ridiculous. I, I think monsters monsters one of those that swings. It disappears for a couple months, and then like one or two pieces come out, and it's just. I I think for now, for the next six months, you're not gonna see it. You're just not... Lydia still helps, but I think no Mole Man hurts too bad. No, Mole Man really was that amazing of a piece. Well, yeah, it's 50 points. And that key of a lynch... There's not a piece that is more vital to its keyword than Mole Man. Was. Mole Man was literally... The... He's the only thing keeping them going. He's one like, of the dumbest the, the, the next closest one would be Lieutenant Gordon yeah. and Police. It, I would say they tie, okay. almost. They would tie. And but the next closest thing I could think of would be Alyosha with animals. But even then, I feel like you could build a decent animal, animal team, team without, without Alyosha. Alyosha. You can't build a decent monster team without Mole Man. Um, we what said we meta? said Avengers. There's no zombie. <coughs> oh, shit. Stop trying to make zombie meta happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, Shield, watch that movie. Shield took a big team uh, hit too. Oh yeah, Shield took a huge hit. because the same ones. Sharon uh, Carter. Sharon Carter and. Um, I forgot to mention Wasp on the Avengers. So yeah, Wasp was here. really good. And Hockey Puck Ant-Man. Yeah. That's the other one I wanted to bring up. Yeah. With Hockey Puck Ant-Man, we kind of talked about this earlier when, when we talked about the rotations. That whole that whole defense ball team is now to be fair, gone for the now. Yes, Despotelis yes, fucked that team anyway. Yeah, that's true. He just get us royally. He just get up in their grill and be like, "Hey, I brought some poison. Hey, How hey, doing? man, gonna carry me? How y'all doing? I just got a. It's two to you, two to you, two to you. <laughs> How do you do? What's your defense at now? Seventeen. That's cute. Gonna share that with all your eighteens. <laughs> Despotelis is a fucking asshole. <laughs> I love Despotelis, but gosh, he's that piece is retarded. That piece is insane. Um. Justice League, of course, not only lost some of their best pieces, they lost almost all their damn pieces. They lost Constantine and Shade, the two only support, support pieces, pieces they had. And uh, Fast Forces, Wonder Woman that I was talking about today that can get carried and then still attack Let's afterwards. just be honest, though. Justice League died a while it, yeah, ago. And Green Arrow. But the, they still have the team base. That's really the only... As soon as the... But we as do soon as the team war rolling around, but that won't be for James. It's a long time. Here. As soon as the team base changes happened, they were dead. Um, and then another cool one I thought of was robots because you don't see them played that often. They did get a lot of good luck yeah. in Iron Man, but think of all, think of the we robots lost, we just lost. We lost Ultron. We Ultron. Lost Ultron drones. We lost Iron Man drones. That's all. That's it. That's, that's all you need. To, those are robots. <laughs> that's, that's your robot team. team right there. 
<laughs> and you know you you play them with a book or something, and they and with Split Lip because Split Lip has armor. Yeah. You know, and you can make an armor team with most robot teams too. But that took a too big uh, of a. I hit. think armor keywords got a couple pieces coming for it. It was never really a big team. I think it's a little bit on the upswing though. There's been some cool synergistic armor pieces like uh, Forge Healing. There's been a couple little ones. Uh, uh, you have uh, the Tony that can mind control yep. armors, and then him plus Iron Pharaoh or some other there, people. There's some potential, I feel like, in the future. Like Once again, I feel like it's monsters. There's still some Pharaoh and Tony combos that will flesh I out. I think that Tony's going to enable a really Does Madam Web have Nest Tool? Yes. Yeah. Okay, she's seeing. Oh, that's a good, yeah. uh, good replacement. Um, she doesn't have TK or anything, but she has. I love that team cheap up there, by the way, with White Witch. Witch. Which one? This second place team, just because White Witch. Just because White Witch. I love that White Witch figure. Fuck White Witch. So, I was telling Hunter, I was hoping I see more of her. Overall, thoughts on the meta now? Oh. Um. On the subject of entities, White Witch slows down entities because they can't take the free action to take a thing and then take a free action that turn. It's not a free action. It's not a free. It's action. not a free action. We no. we had this debate at. Uh, at um, War of the Light, and I squashed it. God, that would fix everything. Yeah, I squashed it, because everybody's freaking out. They're like, oh, I'm going to play my green thing today. All the things will match. You can't take... They can't take more than one free action, so then they can't do the entities. And I'm like... I was about to say, uh, that would fix everything. Let me everything. read this. And then when I read it, it doesn't require a free action. I honestly feel like that would be the errata that would make them... <laughs> so I'll go, we'll go ahead and read this, since this might come up for you guys. So it's not a free action to choose your things if you're being possessed by an entity. It just says... Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'll just find the part that matters. At the beginning of each of your turns, or after this character takes or is healed damage next resolve, you may choose one power, showing on the possessor's dial on one value, higher than the character's printed combat value. You just yeah, there's no, there's no action. It's not a free action to do it. So, In fact, you're get, the thing that's doing that is this 25-point oh, piece, and this 25-point piece isn't even on the board, whoa, so you can't give it actions anyways. It's not on the board. You know what I just thought of? We're getting the Seven Deadly Sins in Trinity War. I wonder if they're going to get Possessor things and we'll get a John Constantine that's an Exorcist-style character and gets rid of Possessors. We should get some John Constantine Astrals. If fun. John Constantine becomes the silver bullet to fucking entities, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> It'll almost, almost <laughs> make up for Sabretooth. Almost. <laughs> not, not completely. <laughs> Or even close. That would just be cool. <laughs> like, but really, think or about how cool that would be to have the possession mechanic carried over to like a bunch of demons in Trinity War, and then have a bunch of pieces revolving around. John Constantine. That's how you do it. Is the best goddamn exorcist in the fucking state I mean, yeah. of the world, England. State of the <laughs> state of England. It's a great state of England. So overall, <laughs> overall, it's not that big of a shift. Nope. We there's some teams that really take a hit, monster. Um, Shuma, I still think, takes a big hit. What about yeah. Spy? What about Spy? I don't know. Exactly. Shut the hell up. Spy keywords what about are... Celebrity, Hunter? <laughs> I forgot Celebrity's even a keyword. What about my 300-point Celebrity team team? But, I think... What are some generics that don't exist that might... Or that I exist think but might be good? that entities are the future. They are. Oh, yeah, easily. They're already... And a, that's not a very bold prediction. They will be on the watch list. Like, oh, I would bet no, money they no will doubt. be on the watch Some, list. They're at least going to get looked at, and I think they will not be able to be used with resources in the future. I think it's too good. Yeah. Um, <coughs> too fucking good, Zoe. Or they'll consider them a resource. That's what I'm saying. When, yeah. No, they won't consider it a resource because the wording would be too wonky. They'll just they'll just errata the possessed trait because the trait's the same on each of them. That said, at the end, can't put it on a person who has... Who is assigned who is a resource or So then you could still play it on a team with a power battery, you just couldn't give that person constructs. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, because it would be weird also. thematically if you couldn't play an entity on a team that has a battery, yep. to me. I think we just went out of focus. <laughs> this game was playing all kinds of tricks on it. It's on Oh, LSD. that's why it was acting funny, because it was almost out of memory. That's why I was shaking like that earlier. Huh. So it's your on camera what? has seizures when it runs out of memory, Hunter. This is weird. Podcast. We just had to do it. We had to show Drew's beautiful face. The people have been waiting. They hear all my jokes every week, and they're like, man, that Drew must be one handsome son of a bitch. They saw me at the beginning of that show. <laughs> so, get the wig and those glorious locks. Uh, let's, speaking of Drew. Hi. I hear we have a uh, valuable Drew Golden Age. Sil or, excuse me. Silver Age. No one Silver fucking plays age. Golden Age. That's true. Everybody always emails us and says... 
Well, I don't never understand what you're talking about when you talk about Silver Age. We don't play Golden Age because tactics or uh, battlefield conditions and are fucking are dumb. fucking retarded. All right, Why would you? There's we a are reason whining, that they're gone. We are whining about resources and entities, or we're entities particularly. Feats blow entities out of the water. But like they're freaking retarded. Anyways, I don't know. They do. They they, they are. Pretty yeah. Good. There's there's just too many broken combos. Anyway, especially these days. But anyways. Here we have a valuable piece to talk about in the Drew's valuable Silver Age corner of value. It'll be a fucking hell of a deal, let me tell you what. <laughs> what are we talking about today? I think there's a cold front coming in. A cold front? Yeah. From the set. I mean, it explosion. Is I understand it's July. But Here there's an explosion of cold energy coming from uh, Clicks. If you haven't numbers. figured it out, it's fucking Ice Man. <laughs> wow. From the cold explosion. doesn't really narrow it down that bad, though. From the explosion set. From the explosion set. 26 points. What would you expect for 26 points? Huh? These days, 26 points would net me... Um, Penetrating be, poison. <laughs> more of a tiger. <laughs> following <true>. everywhere. Aside <laughs> from... Aside Motherfucker <laughs> ruined the entire segment. <laughs> aside from Despotelis and Myra... <laughs> I would honestly, for the average twenty-six <laughs> point piece, I would expect maybe a some kind of special perplex, and that'd be about it. You know what I mean? Okay. Like blind out or something like that. Like some kind of special something, but not that great overall. Any nothing. Something else. they should probably print on a horde token, but they want to give it a body. Exactly. What Range combat expert? No, 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 no. No one cares about that. Uh, flight. Twenty-six point flyer. Yeah. Okay. Kit, not just the ability, can carry people, right? Well, fuck yeah. I'm down. Not like a tiny, it's just a straight up normal flyer? No, it's just a dude who happens to be ice. What the fuck? Alright, so a carrier, alright. Uh, clearly, this guy with ice has got to be some sort of mutant, so he's going to be on a team with mutants called the fucking X Men. Does he have the team ability? ability? Well, no shit, he has the team ability on him. 26, 26 points, points with the team ability? 26 points with the team ability. Is it, are you sure it's not a cheap angel? Austin, no one likes angel. Anyway. Not even Angel likes Angel. Right, seriously. Seriously. He, he does hate him. He tries to kill himself all the time. And he just comes back stronger than Fly ever. off a building, motherfucker. I mean, if I came back stronger... He tries to jump off a building, it never works any freaking time. <laughs> I mean, to be His fair... His instincts kick in and he just picks himself. To be fair, if every time I killed myself, I came back a few issues later stronger than ever, I kill myself all the time, too. Razor Falcon wings, I'd probably do it, too. What? Razor Falcon cougar knife. Anyway, <laughs> but... So... With some sort of ice guy, you'd expect to have a power that involves blocking things with ice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very useful team. Would you say some sort of blockade of ice? Maybe a barrier of ice? He's got barrier with six range. He's fucking good. This guy's for 20, 26 points. 26 points. He's fucking good. I paid pillar. far less for Horde tokens. How much do you think this is going to cost you? I mean, he's a really fucking old piece, so he's probably going, like, what, 30 bucks? So for 26 points, I get. Okay. I get a carrier. Yep. The ability to instantly heal my figure. Yep. With the X Men team ability, which mm. is one of the best theme teams and most and, oh. and one of the most common keywords. In he has defenders right too. And barrier also. Yes. And dang, a nice little dial that if you took the hit from X Men once, still keeps barrier. Yes, he does. That's pretty sweet. With his fourteen defense, <laughs> zero damage, seven attack. But if anyone wastes an attack on him, you've already won. That's 26 yeah. points they wasted on him. Seriously, on. though, he gets he rolls on the end cap later, and I know what you're thinking, Drew. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, it's not. No, it's it's fucking six. five attack end cap. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I literally don't think I've seen a five or six attack. I've or seen five. It, I've seen sixes. I haven't seen a five. It's, uh, it's been a while. You could say that. Um, All right, so money-wise, how much are we thinking? Uh... Should we hit up the old cool stuff? Dollar forty nine. Dollar forty nine. That's probably a good guess. I fifty cents. He's a common and he's a rookie. He's old though. No, it doesn't matter. Forty nine cents is probably a good guess too. I think Austin's right on. I uh, he says dollar forty nine. Yeah. Oh, dollar forty nine. To the sit on the nose. And apparently he's only two and a half stars. Well, nobody ever rates on him. cool stuff. Yeah, nobody ever. Rates. How many ratings? Two ratings. One for a three and one for a two. I'm gonna start just. It's because they probably rated him compared to freaking stuff at that time when everything was no special powers, 18, 19, 20 defense. All right, that's a good one though. I like to welcome home for only 26 <laughs> points. Dig, dig it. 
Let's quickly move into community to wrap us up with this podcast. We already talked about best build, and that solves July, even though it's only the second week. So it will be a while before you guys get a best build assignment. But congrats to our winners and to our finalists this week. And I hope to have those two videos up for you coming this week. So you can catch your teams, Grim Guy and Cosmic Pancakes. You can catch videos of your teams in action uh, on our YouTube channel later this week. Dial design. We had... Oh, fucking shit ton. We had a lot of good dials this week, too. Um, I decided to keep it simple to go with a theme this month of generic figures, figures that have no real name, and then I'm just doing different keywords each time. And also, they don't have to be from comics. They can be from anything. So we got lots of different submissions. The best rated ones, though, were Swagnito and We Are Venom. And since we are Venom one last month, I figured we would do Swagnito's dial we'll spread the love up. for our best build for our uh, dial of the week featured dial this week. He did Wendigo, who is from uh, a lot of X Men books, Alpha Flight books, and is um, sorely overdue for a new dial. And he's in some other random stuff too. Um, we kind of got Wendigo ish love with uh, the so Iron Man set. Mm, yeah, but Sasquatch not the, doesn't really. I know, count. but I'm just saying, like, sort of. Yeah, you're, next, you're gonna tell me Bigfoot's the same as Sasquatch. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he does a 150 point Wendigo, and it has some really cool stuff. And the way it's set up is really what got him, I think got him a, a good rating from us. Uh, mainly his traits. He's 150 points, but he also has this trait called Curse of the Wendigo. If you pay 50 points when building your force, you place Wendigo on another friendly character's card. If As long as that character is 50 points or more, has the standard fist symbol, has one of the two standard shield symbols, and then is either normal or giant size. So you can't put it on a colossal or a duo or a, or a team base or something funky, a vehicle. He keeps it where you can only do it on people that it actually makes so you sense. you don't have a Batmobile turn into a werewind to go. Correct. <laughs> but that would totally be fucking cool. That character has Wendigo's keywords and can use steel energy until it heals from a close combat attack so it can heal at least once. When it does, it may use the cursed ability with this character as the curse. Wait. It may use the cursed ability with this character. He just went curse. out of focus again. When that character will stay blurry. Or Wendigo is KO'd. If it was by a character that used still energy, that character owner may place Wendigo. Guys! Sorry. Stop it! Dick Grayson, quit being a dick. That's how you got your name in the first place. When it does, he can use cursed ability. Okay. That character may use the curse ability with Wendigo as the curse. So the, the curse can move from character to character. Uh, the other trait, you click the curse See, dial. when Austin actually leaves the room this time. It's nice and quiet. I know. Uh, Could you please put something you're never going to get down? It gets in, it gets, it works like the entities, basically. At the beginning of each of your turns, or after this character takes or is healed of one damage and actually resolve, you may place one, choose one power showing on this character's dial and one combat value on this character's dial higher than the printed value, again, like the entities. This character can use that power and modifies the value plus one until you blah blah blah, like the entities. Instead, it can use the, it may not use any other powers or values shown on its dial. And then the last trait gives it leap climb, that is just for the 150 point. So you basically have, instead of an entity, you have uh, something that costs double, and is honestly about the same thing. It just gives steel energy. So it basically is a entity that is a Wendigo curse instead and can move from one thing to the other. Kind of cool. The dial is also really cool. Uh, it can use Leap Climb. When it has two action tokens, it can regen for free. And then it has a special movement power of charge. You can roll a d6 for each character within half of its speed value in line of fire. Wendigo must end his charge adjacent to the character with the lowest resulting roll. So, basically, how whoever he can go after, you don't get to choose. It's ri it's it's character. So yeah. it, it makes him, <laughs> accurate. It makes him beefy and scary, but he just has to hunt one specific character. Like no, like he can he just freaks the hell out, 
and when you go to use charge, yeah. anybody who can be charged, including your own guys, oh, will get charged. But then could the curse pass to them? Yes. Well, no. That this is different. This is if okay, you're playing. Gotcha. This is if you're playing the 150 point character. So yeah, you can't really control this guy. Is what what I really liked about him and why I gave it a yeah. good score. That is pretty cool. Is it it pretty? It really is character accurate without having to have sh- tons of special powers because that's the only special power he has. Is his charge? Love it. I, I liked it. He also did a Wendigo Prime that has some cool stuff too. We're back in focus, but we don't want to go over all of it. So I told you we just had to wait out the blur. We had tons of. of we had thirty-seven. Yeah, this was the biggest ever. Yep. And it looks like the trend's going to continue with this week, too. So this week's assignment was armor. Hopefully we get some more armor keyword people in there. Uh, we had lots of emails. Will somebody go... Where did I do with my phone? That's right. I can pull it up on here. We had lots of emails to answer this week, actually. Really? Yeah. This is going to be fun. I love emails. Well, I, I say more. lots as in more than one, because we really just have, like, one. Uh, some of them are gameplay questions. Some of them are different questions. Paul Barney asks, I had a question about the Deadpool Arnim Zola. I was playing a game with my buddy, and this is the scenario. I have just attacked and hit Arnim with the Shocker, the main set, main Spider-Man Shocker, who has the power where he can use Psychic Blast, and then if he targets one character, gives him an action token. All right, so before we even get into that, let's pull up. I always like to pull everything up and look at it first. Let's pull up Shocker. So let's pull up Zola and Shocker, and we'll add them to the left side. And we'll go through our thought process here. Alright, so we got Zola being hit by Shocker. Let's read Shocker's attack power officially. He can use Psychic Blast when he does and only targets, it targets only one character. A hit character is also given an action token. Alright, simple enough. I have just attacked and hit Arnim, who has a special power, blah, blah, blah. In, the atta- in attacking, I knock Arnim onto his last click, which is a stop click which gives him a free action when that click is shown and then he can move up to 12 movement. Well, let's read and make sure he's correct on that. So let's read Arnim Zola's defense power. When this click is revealed due to damage taken from an opponent's attack, stop turning the dial. Arnim can use regeneration. When he does, if he rolls a five to six, you may also awesome. place him in any square within 12 squares. This power can't be ignored. So yes. there we see He's not instantly teleporting as soon as his click gets revealed. He's sh- it's after he uses regen, he can be placed. He can heal and teleport. He can be wherever else. All right, so that gives us an answer right there. My question is, first, if Shocker gives him a second action token, does he take that pushing damage before he could use regen? And second, does Arnhem have to break away with the free 12 movement? No, because the, the pushing damage is going to happen... Immediately after the action's resolved, and you're being he, placed. Yeah. Well, he no, he hasn't even gone to his turn to be able to use regeneration yet. Yeah. So here's the main thing that is messing you up is that he Zola doesn't use regeneration as soon as you hit him. Exactly. And then you finish the rest of your turn. No, that's on his turn. If it said stop turning the dial and immediately immediately use yeah. Arnim can use Arnim uses Zola as a free action. Before the action Stop resolves, turning the or dial. Something. Armzola can immediately then use regeneration when he does. But no, it just states he you, can use it. Periods are important in the in the WizKids rules text because they they denote the stopping of stuff. And also the when he does. So yeah. note that it says Zola can use regeneration. Period. It says that before it says when he does. Mm-hmm. Not. It doesn't say the stop click and then when the click is shown. Blah blah. blah. So, he's not getting to do this until his turn anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. So, yes, if you hit him onto a stop click, and then you gave him a second action token, and he, he takes die. pushing, he's dead. Um, Death to Zola! As far as your other question, when he does the the 12 movement, or when he rolls a 5 or 6 on regen, I, I can also place him in any square within 12 squares. He Would he have hurt. to break away? No, because he's being placed, it's not a which is the same as being carried or being TK'd or anything like that. It's not a move, and you only have to break away when you go to make a move, not a placement. So, no, he would not typically have to break away from that that power. So, hopefully that helps you out. Um, this one is just a best build Lots submission. Best, best build submission. We had another one. Excuse me, that was older. Uh, James Gardner wrote to us about the Yu-Gi-Oh! resource. Hi guys, I'm a huge fan and relatively new player. 
Listening to your podcast has helped me to understand the powers, abilities, and tactics. Yay. Now to get to the topic of the email. The Yu-Gi-Oh! story event is called Battle for the Millennium, right? So at least in my mind, the only logical choice is the stone tablet having each Millennium item as relics. Starting with the puzzle, then the ring or the eye. And that, honestly, that's... That's the, probably what it That's is. the only thing it can be. I mean, we tried to, like... Spit a out. dual disc is the only other thing, and that's if they're only planning on doing like one. If they're douchebags, I don't think they will. They'll go with the. There's dual There's no disc. items for a dual disc. It'll, it'll be the millennium. It'll be it'll, a, be, it'll be the millennium we were, tablet and all the items. We were trying to keep it interesting and think of what potentially else could they do. But there's nothing. It'll be a there. gate guardian resource. And you have to collect all three pieces. There's in, already gate in all reality. It has to be the millennium puzzle. Uh, anyways, that's my thoughts on the Yu-Gi-Oh mystery resource. Keep up the good work and keep it nuts to butts. <laughs> I love like this guy. Yeah. As you can see, if you're watching the video camera, we're keeping we're it pretty, pretty nuts. To we pretty are nuts extremely to nuts. The butts. <laughs> we're extremely nuts. Oh, this is my favorite. You already, didn't you already read this one? No, I told you guys about this, but I didn't read it. So, and I, he doesn't want me to mention his full name. So, Malcolm writes to us. So, this is from forever ago. I don't think we brought this up on the podcast, did we? About the email from Japan? No. I don't think we did. I think I told you guys about. it. Hi, this is the one guy in Japan who does listen to you. Oh, well, we screwed up. Really, I'm living in <laughs> Japan now. <laughs> On HD Realms, I, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't want to give me away all his information. Uh, but he grew up in Vermont, and then he moved to Japan about nine years ago. So he's That's actually cheap. an American, but he does live in Japan. To answer your question, no, they do not sell hero clicks here. I wish they did. I missed the game. I follow you guys to keep up to date on what's happening in the clicks world. I started playing clicks with Hypertime, so the original set. And stopped playing at Icons, which is not very much shorter <laughs> afterwards. But I still love the game, and I try to keep up with what's happening in the Heroclix world. The reason why I stopped collecting and playing is just that they don't sell them here in Japan. I wish they did, because the Japanese kids here love comics, and they know the Avengers, Spider-Man, Batman, and Superman. And collectible games sell like mad over I, that's there. That's true. They like, do. Even, like, even little fi figures... Magic's are, huge over there. Well, even if it's not a game. like Little figures that are just like collectible, period, sell like ridiculously. Anyway, you say that you don't care about Japanese techno music. Well, how about J-pop? I got a music video which I know you're going to love. I, I'm not going to watch it. How about, <laughs> how about a mix of J-pop and heavy metal? Also another link. You also mentioned K-pop music. K-pop's not bad. Here's one of my favorite music. I was answering it just being a smartass. I don't like K-pop either. Folks, too. So, yes, <laughs> you do have someone in Japan who listens to you. Uh, well, I got a question for you. What set would you like to see but you know... You'll never see it happen. Um, okay, first we'll answer and then we'll read his. Oh, man. Mm, what set would we like to see but we that know would never, never happen? See. Well, I would have said Guardians of the Galaxy, but there we go. They yeah, made but a, I figured eventually. They made a movie, so. Yeah. Judge Dredd. <laughs> Judge, there you go. Hellboy. Hellboy. Yeah. Hellboy and Judge Dredd, those yeah. are easy. This I'll never see these things. And since there will now officially be no Hellboy 3 movie, we will probably never get another Hellboy clicks. Unless I, some for some reason, finally decide to compete in Worlds and then get okay. amazingly lucky. To be and fair, what the, fuck are they the last in? time a producer right. did an AMA them. and said he couldn't find the money for a movie, they ended up finding the funding because of the AMA. And Pacific Rim 2 was said we, we, they weren't going to do it because they couldn't find the funding, and they did find the funding for it. I don't know how there could be a Pacific Rim 2. There's... He said, explains it in the anime. They're back again. That's all you need to know. There is a set that I want. They're that back I, in the USA. If They're we're going back. third party sets, there is one set I want that I know they'll never do, and that would be I want to see a Game of Thrones set. I think yeah. like Lord of the Rings, the characters could be done really well. I yeah. don't. I don't. I, I don't got my see. Lord of the Rings clicks. Game of the, the Game That's of Thrones does not. I think there's more than enough characters in the back. If you go off the books, particularly, there's tons of stuff they could do. Do you really think that would never ever happen though? Yeah, I don't think it'll ever There's happen. There's no way. HBO's not? way too heavy on the licensing. Oh, okay. And they're not... While well, they're doing like figures and stuff through uh, one of those pop guys that do the little figures and all that crap, they don't... I don't think they'll ever do... Well, I don't know. Fantasy Flight's done a lot of board games and stuff. It might. But it, it's something I don't think I'll ever see. His three sets are uh, a crossover set with all duo figures of Marvel and DC and they must come from a crossover comic from the Marvel versus D or Marvel and DC. Don't care, John Constantine Sabretooth. 
Drew, you made Drew's day. Number two, DC versus Marvel, based on the limited comic run in 1995. So, uh, and then Amal Amal said he wants a Dark Claw. Keep up the good work, and yes, I'll keep listening to you guys. Thank you, Imra or Malcolm. So thanks for emailing us, Malcolm. It's all, it's awesome to to hear from oh, people yeah. in other countries. Um, do we do? Oh, we already read Greg's card. Okay, so that does it for. Let me double check our Facebook account because I think we had some questions on there. So many. I love this. It's so much fun answering. Actually, I'm pretty sure I already answered this one for this guy, but we'll double check just to be safe. And we'll answer it on the air because Drew and Austin want to answer stuff too. No. Well, I guess I can bring it up. Yeah. Let me find it. Messages. It's almost cicada time. I know. I can kind of imagine hear it. how loud it's going to be. Oh, it. It's, remember last year when we started? It was. It was yeah, a problem. Exactly. It was. Oh right, my god. It was right after we started. They I like started how you cheated out. and did episode fifty-one point five. I had to. You guys didn't want to come, man. We we were at cookouts. It was July fourth. I don't know. I'm not. Sorry, it was a holiday. It's all weekend. right. I understood. Uh, that was Malcolm. David had a rules question. We'll do his real quick. I, he's the guy who I already answered it for. Him. Oh, wrong one. Uh, scroll to the right one. Okay, he asked me this a long time ago. I tried to look it up, but now that they took all of the rules and questions and stupidly changed the uh, rules format, you can't find fucking rules answer to save your life anymore. So when people ask me questions, I can't easily answer them for them. I'm not going to sit and email the rules arbiters every time I have a little question in my head. That's stupid, but anyways. So he asked me this question, and I meant to look it up. I couldn't find it, and I can't start a thread on it anymore and have someone answer it. So I ended up forgetting about it and never answered him. So I apologize. You sent me this like a month ago. Uh, I finally answered him this week. But his question was, if you had the, as we lovingly call him, Chanos, as everyone calls him. Mm, Chanos. So let's pull up Chanos real quick. Guardians of the Galaxy 049 Thanos. If you were using him and you used his power called Teleport My Greatest Enemies, Thanos can use plasticity, give him a power action, and place the two highest point value target opposing characters in squares adjacent to Thanos. So if you're using that power on a specific map, on the Shadowland map, could you use it due to the map rules? I said I don't see why not. What's the Shadowland? Because I, I can't find it on Realms anywhere. But the the gist of it is, you can't draw lines of fire t more than six squares away. But Chanos, is there Chanos doesn't, doesn't draw a line of fire at all. Yeah. And he's... N it just says, you just give him a power action, and you place the top two highest point value targets uh, in the, his squares. You know, that's something we should have probably discussed too in regards to... We'll do it another time, but the rotation of maps. We lost some really good maps. Yeah, that's true. That can be like a subtopic. Yeah, we can talk about that. That can be next week. week since we're doing a short episode and that will be a short topic. Yeah, that's a good We one. can quickly talk about that next week. So, I, if it was me, if it came up in my tournament, one of mine, I would say um, it's not going to affect it and, and he could still use it. But. I agree. Because I can't find the map anywhere online, and then I finally found an image, and it was so blurry I couldn't read the uh, the wording. I, I don't officially know. If it uses the word line of fire, and his thing doesn't use line of fire, I mean, like, that's yeah. straightforward there. And it's not even targeting with them anyways. It's just you just... The highest two ones get it's placed. It's the rule of place versus anything. Yeah. Um, that one we don't really need to read on the air. I think that might have been it. Brian, oh, Brian had a question uh, from a couple weeks ago. In the spoiler Newsarama image, there are about 10 different constructs. And I, he's talking about, I assume, when they did the different color lanterns, and we talked about all the constructs. I got the scenario pack and the LE. Where will the others be available? So to answer that one real quick, the if you're talking about the green ones, they are in the War of the Light boosters connected to specific figures on each prime each prime in the World Light set is a Green Lantern, and it comes with a uh, mm -hmm. construct. And so far, we have the net on the Tomar. Tomar and the hammer on Ga Goliath. Uh, yeah, Goliath. Um, so, or 
Those are the only two I can think of. Those are the only two right now, and then there'll be two more Green Lanterns in the next season. And then there's one there's one given out each month. And yeah, and then each month you get that another piece so for good, your thing. And then there's bound to be comics. Like, it's basically confirmed now with the numbers they're showing on the Lantern packs that there are going to be some other constructs with another way to get them. So there's your answer for, to your first question. Second question, also, is there a Power Battery tutorial, tutorial we can look at anywhere? I see it has range. But is that normal line of fire? Well, if you go back and listen to our podcast that focused on the power battery, I'll look up the name of it real quick, but was... that one will answer some questions for you as we go through the card and we talk about it out loud in our heads and try to explain it. But now that I finally got a chance to play it myself, first of all, I really enjoyed it. I really like this resource a lot. Um, we'll be trying to use it more you know, in the future. Once we've used it a couple more times, I'll make a how-to video and kind of uh, teach, you know, give do one of my rules explanation series for this. But I also wanted to use it a lot and really get it completely nailed well, down. Episode 40. No, I thought it was before that. No, that's the one where they announced the Green Lanterns and showed them all, mm -hmm. okay. including the battery. I just want to make sure I didn't do the battery first. All right, yeah, so the episode is titled Willpower, and it is number 40. So if you want to go back to the April 12th, uh, episode, then I also have the link there in the description if you want to pull the card back up. You know what I was just thinking about? We called the last few sets to come out except for Guardians of the Galaxy. We said that there was going to be a, a Warlight OP. Flash. We said there was going to be a Flash set, and then we said that the next Justice League would probably be a Trinity War CTD or set. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's like zooming in and out. Too, Earthquake! Poor, it did take a... It's it's still having concussive effects from when I dropped it on its head. <sighs> Poor thing. Well, for its sake, it is time to sign off, luckily. It'll get a little rest. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Dolly Trujillo Clicks, of course. Also on Facebook, that's where we're on the most and communicate with you guys the most. I apologize if it takes me a while to answer your email questions. I try to check them a couple times a week, but it doesn't always it's work. It's also easy to accidentally um, check it and then forget that you opened it. Yeah, <laughs> on my on my phone, on your phone, your phone doesn't deal well with these yeah. these community fan page things very well and letting you check all your. Yeah. It's a pain in the yeah. butt. On the computer, it's not as bad. You've never given a shout out to me and Austin's personal Twitter accounts. Go ahead. I don't use my Austin, Twitter account anymore. What are you What are you on Twitter? I am at Shadow Claimer on Twitter. I am at Amazing Shake on Twitter. You don't post that much, do you? No. I was going to say. I'm not on it at all, except for our Dial H account. That's, that's basically that's my the... account. So, yeah, follow us to Dial H for Clicks. Try to answer all your questions. We also have an Instagram link to that if you guys want to see some cool pictures. I post the poker chips and stuff and everything on there. So be sure to follow us on there. That's the quickest way to get a hold of us. Or send us emails, dial h for hero clicks at gmail.com. And that also is where you guys can send in your, your best build uh, submissions whenever we do that. So thanks for joining us. Um, sorry for the technical difficulties with the camera. But it's been a year with you bastards. We've got most of the. I've known you for record. a really long time, and you've known each other for life. So what the fuck? I, I've known. No, Austin I mean, it's, a it's been a year with the fans. I mean, that's just to think we've been doing this for a year is crazy. That is true. It, does it not, doesn't feel like it's it. It definitely a year. doesn't feel like a year. Maybe like four or five months. One year ago, we started this entire podcast by swearing up a storm about Gen Con. Still and doing it. A little over a year ago, we were driving back from the dugout. We've been in the dugout over a year, or almost two years now. Oh my now. gosh. And we were all like... And we were driving back, and I was like, I've been thinking about doing a podcast, doing a clicks podcast, and then we were like... There really isn't very many good Hero Clicks podcasts. Because I was talking about a uh, Rosewater Does His Drives to Work podcast because mm -hmm. it had just come out. So we started talking about other podcasts, and then I was like, well, we should do a. We should record ourselves driving home. Do a Hero Clicks. Yeah. <laughs> so we should do a Hero Clicks <laughs> podcast. I'm going to look into it and see what, what all we would need. And then I looked into it over the next couple of weeks and then ordered the mic, and we just went at it. And the first episode was awful. That's oh, all, it was terrible. I don't think, in all seriousness, I. <laughs> I listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, I've been listening to podcasts. It was almost as bad as a dice tower for podcast. years. I've been listening to podcasts <laughs> for almost ten years, and I have not heard a single first episode that goes well. That goes Seriously? smoothly. It, it just doesn't yeah. happen. 
you're you're not used to everything. You're you're not used to the format unless you've been on radio. Kind of like our first video podcast. That's true. <laughs> it went swimmingly, I would say. <laughs> I would say this is smooth compared to what could have gone wrong. Um, and it's true. I almost you guys didn't fist fight this time. Thankfully, we didn't get that. On camera. I don't know. I punched a couple of you a few times, but I feel he like actually did. Punch yeah, us. I punched Drew a few times. That's true. There were strikes though. <laughs> I would. They're girly strikes. So that's how I did. I mean, I for obviously I forgot about it. So it wasn't that they bad. weren't that you know. And they're to be honest, like I almost feel like with podcasts, what they should do is record five episodes, do a limited release, and then about episode six or seven, go wide with it, because like they're almost all bad for the first handful, terrible on the first, and get progressively better. I will say our second one, we like. Instantly, we're way better. Oh yeah, no, definitely. And we've gotten better with time. I, I, or at least I hope so. Although today, <laughs> today's was a bumbling mess. <laughs> today did not go smoothly because I'm trying to like juggle us between camera issues and recording issues. I'm sure there's a lot of dead air, but it oh, went, I'm sure there's a ton of. Dead it air. could have went a lot worse. <laughs> this editing it, is gonna need a miracle. And if you guys are picking this up on Sunday. Be sure to check out Evo, uh, even if you're not a big fighting game fan. It's one of the most entertaining things you'll ever watch in your life. And uh, we're we're all big fighting game fans and have been for a long Fucking time. Fucking yeah. That's and how we first all really got that's together. That's how we all really got together and got us, you know, started getting close. So, And that's how we started playing Hero Clicks, honestly. That's true. Yeah, same, Wild and Horse. Same crew. I was, me and Ricky started playing Clicks. I was like, guys, we should play Clicks next week and instead of playing fighting games. In. And then everyone and then dropped we stopped out, playing and then it was just us three. Yeah, and I moved anyways, and that hurt it too. But anyways. I wonder I'm keeping this wig. It's been a long time. You're not keeping that wig, it's not mine. I'm going to start strutting the streets and pretend that I'm uh, Ashley Mary, Will Mary, Terry Jane Watson. All right, guys, well, thanks for sticking with us for a year. We will be back next week, sadly, whether you want us to or not. <laughs>